You ever hear a song and you think to yourself, the fuck have I heard that song before? This isn't how it sounds in my head. Chances are, you're listening to a cover tune. And tonight, because music sells on the Low King Jabroni Show, we're breaking down our top ten favorite, remember that word, it's not a competition, kids, favorite cover tunes, extra honorable mentions, and in Jabroni's musical poetry moment tonight, a big fuck you to the world. Welcome back. Once again, faithful listeners, sit back, plug in, man up. It's Loki Jabroni Show. Animal Crackers is back. And cover two battle royal, but it's not a competition. It's never a competition. That's only when we say the top ten greatest this or top ten whatever that. And we're gonna have one of those coming up. Sumo soon. Joe, get out of my house. <laughs> we're gonna have one of those coming up because I have an idea for you and I come November, which is our Christmas. Our your my birthday, birthday is here. The game that we're talking about is here. My birthday is here, and then Christmas is right after. And then we have a wrestling event right here. On that birthday, (laughs) yes, sir. Constitution State Wrestling is back. Welcome back to the Loki and Jabroni Show. I am Chris Jabroni Burns. Super excited. Aren't you? I am super excited. Did you see that he's already announced Mm -hmm. talent? Let's not get too deep into that. No, we won't. We will will begin it, too. I am Loki Michael Smith. How are you all doing out there? And as always, the man in the box. Eddie Focus? Yes. You said that like it's a question, like you don't know who you are, like you were going to say Drew Carey? I mean, what the fuck, dude? Before we get into the whole, our normal (laughs) shit, I just got to say, supposedly we have this really crazy idea that we want to build an actual studio Mm -hmm. on a property that we're going to actually get, you know, bestow the pond to us. Now, for us to get this studio, we have a classic idea. I'm actually a really good carpenter, Mm -hmm. and he actually gets a really good bonus. Mm -hmm. So there are a discount. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you for correcting me. Bonuses are given to those who are good work. Right. Bonuses are given to people who actually give a shit about their employees anymore. (laughs) Well, (laughs) actually, I, I do get a bonus. It's like 100 bucks every quarter. Oh, there wow. you go. There you go. That's yeah. oh, take take the miss out. Yeah, take, take her to take out. her to Red Lobster. Chicks okay. love Red Lobster. Yeah, they they love no. They they I like the Biscay biscuits. That's all they fucking mm-hmm. love. All right. <clears throat> fucking Cracker so, Barrels open. Just just so you guys all know, we're gonna make the announcement right fucking now. This man over here had the crazy idea of actually saying, if we get a thousand dollar Patreon donation, hey, and now look, this, I'm not saying that it couldn't happen because. Y'all could get together and be like, this sounds like a crazy idea. And tax season is right around the corner. If each one of us come up with 250 (laughs) bucks. Or as Eddie says, theft refund. Right, exactly. There you go. Theft refund right around the corner. 250 bucks. There's only four of us. There is a bottle of wild turkey. Where are you counting the fourth one? I I don't know. No, I'm just saying four people could get together and it only cost them 250 each. You're you're talking blood sport, though, because there's only one Patreon donor and. Well, they're, this the is, old, they're the only ones that get to see the video. Hey, you know see? what? That's fine. This is where you guys come in. Exactly. Right off the top, let's pay the bills right away to donate to the show. You want to grab that bottle real quick, Loke, and show them yeah. that we're not yanking their fucking chain? This was bestowed to me. I know, it's stuck in that fuck. He's gonna, <laughs> no, it's right, holding the whole gonna, house up. Right? <laughs> it's my eye beam. Okay. This was bestowed upon me by my friend Lee Davidson. His father, Mickey, would drink this anytime he had a bad day. He gave me the bottle and said, Mick would want you to have it, and I'm sure he does. I had two shots out of it. Lee had two shots out of it, and <laughs> there it sits, it and there it stays. It's not oh. because I – see? It's not because I don't want to drink some whiskey. It's – I don't know what it is. It's just wild turkey, man. Their rye whiskey is fantastic. Their 101 is great, but this is the regular straight. If you're 75 years old and angry, that's your shit. So here's what you do. It, it is the whiskey of choice for Beavis and Butthead's principal. That is true. Good call. <laughs> yes, that and old. The first episode was Old Crow, if you remember. Yeah, oh, it was Old yeah. Crow. Yeah, that was the very first yeah. episode, and I guess they got sued or something. I don't know. 
Go to www.patreon.com, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com. Tell your friends. All it takes is a couple $5 donations, maybe four $250 donations. We will drink that entire bottle, and we will record until we're sober. So it could be... No, it's $1,000. A thousand? Oh, it's $1,000. That, that's right. $1, no. It's a thou- one single-handed $1,000 donation, like we said. All you really think about it, tax season's right around the corner. Yep. It literally takes it's ten of you, a hundred bucks. And let me be clear. Okay. <clears throat> it's a thousand dollars to watch us drink that one bottle. It's not yeah. gonna yeah. be a bottle of each thousand. No. No, 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 no. Because no. if we get it to is, three thousand because it'll no. be our mausoleum we'd be buying. And at it's that point. and right? it's only and it's only that bottle. And on top of it, for those of you that actually help donate the money, you can A give us a hand, which I doubt you're gonna do. Or you get to watch the video, which I'm pretty sure that this guy is going to do of us actually build this thing together. Patreon it's exclusive, be right? It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I'm going to tell you. It's I like great. the idea, and I support it. There are other ideas that we have. We're going to we go are. over in the coming weeks. <clears throat> but right now, cripes, guys, what's on your mind before we pay more bills and dive into the good and bullshit? I've got to get to the fucking theaters to see the new fucking Halloween. I got to. Have you heard I it's that to, good? Man. I haven't heard I, anything about it. I, dude, what is she, like 70 now? She's got to be 70. Jamie Lee Curtis? Yeah. You got the Google machine, man. Oh, Where's she? She's got to be say, like probably 60, all right, let's throw, 65. Throw I'm, it I'm out gonna here. Throw 65. Right. Like, Let me like, get the thing. So Loki <clears> says 65. Don't say a word. Jabroni says 59. Let's see. Focus is the only one that can't vote. Dude, she was like almost a gimmick. teenager. Yeah, I got it in front of me, but I... I well, I said like she's at least over fifty. That's what I said. Yeah. yeah. What did you say she is? I said sixty five. I said fifty nine. You are one hundred percent correct. Hot wow. shit. Nice. That was one thousand nice. percent guess. Nice. She's Fifty nine years old. Why can't I do this on the CNJ Speedway review? I, I wish. A little trivia. I could have this you, fucking. You remember uh, True Lies? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Probably one of the best roles. Oh yeah, of her for her. <sighs> The dress because that one scene. Oh my god! <laughs> you remember the the helicopter stunt? Yes, yes, that was uh, her. She did that for her fortieth birthday. No shit. Yes, uh, you wouldn't That's catch me. Cool. I know I'm already over forty, but you wouldn't catch me doing jack shit off a helicopter in a helicopter or around. That's a helicopter. pretty fucking cool. That is pretty Jay, fucking. Jim cool. Cameron didn't want her to do it, obviously, because she's like obviously a big Hollywood star. She was like, "It's my fortieth birthday. Fuck it, YOLO." Right? YOLO. Yeah, and if she had let go, it'd be Yodo. It would be yo blow. No, I, <laughs> no, but no, it was not Arnold Schwarzenegger holding her. It was a stunt man. But okay. we figured as that much. would have been even better. We though, knew that. Right? We knew that. We knew that. But no, I didn't I, mean to kill her. I do. Uh, everything about <laughs> this movie just screams <laughs> uh, probably the final Michael Myers ever. I'm excited about it. it man. Won't be. I, 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 I hear you, you. You understand this is the third timeline. No, I know. I know. I know. But it's. At some point, you have to. There's, there's. It's gonna, and it's funny because I actually, I'm gonna tie this into my um, buy or sell. So I don't want to go too, too much into this, but um, they are really buying into the the fact that Michael Myers is infinite, right? Like an on, omnipotent <clears throat> being that just can't be killed. He keeps like the coming Boogeyman. back. I'll buy it. The Boogeyman. Well, well this movie, the rest. This of movie totally says. The rest of them never happened. Like two through H two O never happened. No shit. That's bullshit. That's what they're saying. The only one that didn't happen is number three. Cut, cut. Well, three could have happened. Three more days till Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> Halloween. Three more days till Halloween. Which, which some say one of the better ones. Shamrock. By the way, it's not the only song that's stuck in my head this week. Do you remember? Hey, Mister, it's a donut. Hey, Mister, that's a Mister Donut. Donut. Mister Donut was big around here back in the. I do remember Mister Donut. Seventies or eighties, man. But that reminds me of the whole stupid. You can actually have a clown actually deliver Hertz donuts to somebody's house now. Nice. Did you Did you hear about this? <laughs> no, this is great. No, I'm serious. You can. You can. It's about one hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. And you can literally have a clown mm-hmm. go knock on somebody's door. And you they have Hertz a donuts? Box. Oh, yeah. Yes. They a have a box of, of Hertz donuts. And they give them the donuts, whatever Wait, it is. Do they punch the shit out of them? But the they do punch the shit out of them. Yes. <laughs> Where's that address again? We know some people. I know. That's what I was thinking. I want to do it, man. I do. I want to do it. And this Actually, clown, the, the, clown was freaky as fuck, too, man. I got five candidates right there is, now. I, I wish I could pull a picture up right now. But there is this really cool um, wreath you can buy for Halloween. And it just oh, it has a picture that. of the Tim Curry yes. uh, Pennywise, and then it's just like billows out into like uh, I know colorful someone, little uh, ribbons and stuff. I know someone who's afraid of clowns. I'd love to send that to him. That right? Yeah, fantastic. I, I know someone who's afraid of clowns too, and she already nice. told me no. So, <laughs> so you're thinking this movie is going to be 
fantastic. I'm hoping. Okay. I'm hoping. Now that I'm hearing that they're they're 86 and the rest of them, I thought I thought this was gonna be a tie-in from no. what I've heard. Because if you remember, Jamie Lee Curtis, Laurie Strode character died in Halloween. Seven. It was the one after H two O Resurrection. Yeah, she dies in the beginning of that. That's right. Like Michael oh, Myers right. kills her because she never wanted to do it again. You yeah, trying right. to say that word that's hurt right. my eye for some reason? Either that's that what or I'm saying. A stroke. This is the third time I. Like, I did actually forget about Resurrection. H- I was trying to forget about it, and you just brought it back into my memory again. Yeah. With Buster Rhymes? Yeah. See, H2O, <laughs> H2O is where it ended for me. I thought that was perfect. I I, uh, I love that. That's what Wait. I'm saying. I think, if anything, you should do H2O and then go into the new Halloween and then maybe 86 Resurrection. Well, but in H2O, she cut Michael Myers' fucking head off, so. Yeah, but that just goes into more it of Just makes the... him more omnipotent. Maybe. He's like, <laughs> he's like a movie. I, I thought it got silly. Well, yeah, H2O. it did. No, no. And, and the Rob Zombie ones, the first one was okay. The second one was absolute garbage. I, I never saw the second one. The first one I liked because he took parts of the first one and made it yeah. kind of his own and shit. But, all right. What do you got, man? All right. Well, before my phone dies, I got a little story here that you you guys know how much I just loathe the wussification of America. No, not you. St. No. Louis, Missouri, yesterday. The mother of a St. Louis area high school student is suing the school after her son didn't make the varsity soccer team and was not allowed to play on the JV team. The student's mother said her son, a junior who has already played on JV, is good enough to play on the JV team again. Officials at the... Oh, I'm going to butcher this Jimmy Wisman style. That man can't talk and neither can I. However, officials at the Ladue Horton Watkins High School says if a junior does not make the varsity team... The boy cannot play again on the JV team. The school says this is to allow freshmen and sophomores a chance to develop their skills and prepare to try out for varsity. The boy's mom alleged that this practice violates both age discrimination laws and Title IX, a civil rights law attempting to guarantee equal access in public education regardless of gender because she says the rules are different for the girls' soccer team. Okay. The woman, only identified as Jane Doe, of course, because you're a cowardly bitch, in court documents, is asking for a restraining order and an injunction so that her son can play on the JV soccer team. In courtroom testimony, it was revealed that Ledoux does not have a policy keeping juniors from playing JV sports. It depends on how many kids go out for a certain sport, hands down till the end, or are you just scratching? He scratches Okay, good. You got to get a shampoo for that, man. There are... There are come things on, that you can come do on, because I do have I do have Thank some you. follows. Uh, it depends on how many kids go out for a certain sport and how many spots are on the team. The coach said this applied to both the girls and the boys team. The judge is expecting to decide on the case this coming Monday. Quote, if the judge follows the law and looks at the evidence of John Doe, the boys, yes. skills, we have a decent chance, says Paul Maddock, the student's attorney. Um. Whatever happened right, to so, hold on one second? Let me I'm, go I'm, ahead. I'm, I'm trying. I, I just want to get this in my head before we we go on to discussion. Number mm. one, he is a senior, junior. He's a junior. Yes, and he's trying to get onto the JV team. No, he's trying to get on the varsity team, and he didn't make which it. is the senior team. Yes, right. Senior, junior, well, senior, okay. and really good juniors. Good. Okay. All right. Good. I'm on the same page. Okay. I'm ready to go. <clears throat> And he's not allowed. He's not allowed back because once you try out for right. varsity, you've yes. given up your spot on JV. Yes. That's in any high school across the fucking right. nation. Absolutely. So why is uh, John Snowflake more important than any <clears throat> other kid that's ever tried go. out for anything ever? Here we go. Well, you can go right after me. No, no. Mine's, I... mine's gonna be really simple. Mrs. Doe, your son sucks at football. I'm sorry. European football is. Yeah, soccer. Uh, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's right. He's right. It's it was soccer. I did. I did. But um, your son really does suck. Um, look, there are if you're a junior. Nine times out of ten, you get invited to varsity. Mm-hmm. There's a reason why there's called junior varsity mm-hmm. because junior varsity is exactly that. It's for the juniors and it's for exceptional seniors. An incredible, watch my lips here, incredible freshman. You will never, and I never, see a freshman player on the varsity team. You will see them 
on the junior varsity team if they are, what did I say? Exceptional. Thank you. Exactly. Your son is not exceptional. Your son is actually pretty terrible. And the fact that he tried out and he thought he was better than the rest of the kids, he needs to suck it up. He's done this year. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. You are a loser. Your son is learning very bad life skills from you. I will pay you this dollar if you do the (laughs) TYFYB right now. Seriously, I will give you this dollar. Isn't that my dollar? Shut up. You're ruining the skit. If you tell Jane Doe... (laughs) My dollar, my coffee. Oh, shit. (laughs) My woman, my beer. Do we? <laughs> there we are. All right, all right. Give it to her just one time. All right. If you don't, I will. <laughs> you are the problem, my my. As a matter of fact, take this dollar. Mm-hmm. Come come to the Loki and Jabroni studio until we build a new one for a thousand dollars and drinking a whole shitload of wild turkey. Take this fucking dollar. Go buy yourself a hot coffee. Dump it on your lap on purpose. Then try to fucking get more money because that's the only way you're going to be fucking purposeful in your life. Your son sucks. You suck. Get out of the fucking school system. Fuck off. Oh, very close. You were that close. I know. It was thank you, fuck you, bye. But uh, I, I, <laughs> but I, But I wanted to kind of put my own little twist into it. <laughs> you, ma'am. You, ma'am, may fuck off. You are the worst of the worst and go fuck yourself. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Ed, what do you got on this? Um, I'm just gonna devil's advocate one thing, just because I, I like your reaction. Um, I know if if it's true that it's different for the girls, that's a valid argument. But the school system said that there's no existing rule that says that for the girls, according to this report. Well, if they're denying it and that's true, then you, then they're right. I'm just saying if she if she the burden of find... proof is on Jane Doe to well it. I'm assuming. I'm just assuming that she saw something in the bo- uh, rule book or something. No, that she said didn't. That. So no, no, she's saying. She's crying she, the blues because no, Sonny she came said, home crying. No, she said, and I quote, that they said the the woman's, uh, the woman's soccer team judges differently, which I'm going to call bullshit on and horse shit and all the other. As well. Shits. well if, if that's and case, human yeah. shits and feces shits and fish shits. Dog shit. Because in dog shits, that's the worst. Dog shit. The way the article stuff. is written, it, it implies that the rules are different for girls. If that's the case, it does, it, and it does actually say that's her contention, that, right? That's if, that, the reason if why. that's true, I agree on that only. But if he wasn't accepted into varsity, it's and here it's maybe not even be necessarily that he sucks. It's just somebody's better than him. It's on skill. That's all it is. So, that's some, what kids don't have today is winning or losing based on skill. We have all these rules in place so no kid goes home all butthurt and, oh, my God, I love the game 22 to 4. Well, if you lost the game 22 to 4, work harder next time. Don't start crying. You get a trophy. Here's your trophy. You won. You won today. Right. You won today. Congratulations. If you don't win, guess what you get? This. Nothing. If you're watching on the YouTube channel, nothing. There's nothing in my hands because you get nothing when you lose. Nothing. Zero. Some people need to accept, too. Like, so you take... You take the world's geniuses, and they're like top of their class, whatever. You you put them into MIT, they're no longer the top. No. Okay? So the only reason you are not picked for certain things is because there's just somebody better than mm-hmm. you. It's just something you got to accept. Who was it? Um... I don't – however, I, I am going to say I don't think it's fair that he loses his JV slot just for trying out. That seems no, that's always out. been there. Yes, that's because you're there. giving up your spot to try to move forward. But That's it's just always a trial. Been there. You're not you're not you're not stopping. Doesn't matter. You're giving up your spot on the team to attempt to move forward. It's like if you if you decide tomorrow to quit your job because you found a better job and the job doesn't work out within a week and you hate it and it sucks. You can't just march back in and go, I'm here. I, I'm, gonna, I'm punching uh, in. I'm gonna push back on that a little bit because if I apply for a different position, I don't give up my position. No, that that's different. This is the that's the real world. This isn't like high school gimmickry. Well, I know. I'm just saying. I think. I think it's kind of. I kind of disagree with a, a policy of just because you try out on something else that you lose your spot. Because it's like, it's like filling out a job application and someone saying, "Oh, you applied for a higher position while well, you're is, fired from your." What old this board. is yeah, creating no. is this kid who I'm. I'm going to surmise is about 16 years old. In about five six years, once he stops dicking around on the PlayStation and gets out in the real world, applies for a job, doesn't get it. Because somebody more qualified got it, 
Then there's going to be a lawsuit. Well, he applied. He should get the fucking job. It's creating a well, problem think, honestly, with the youth of America. I'm more inclined to believe it's his parents that are fucked up, honestly. Duh. Because they're they are obviously riding his coattails. They're probably a couple. No, of, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Couple of losers. Right, right, right. Want their all star kid to take care of them. And, oh, and I don't even. I don't even think so. he's an all star kid. To be honest with you, he probably well, isn't. I think. I think they they believe it's just like one of those things where the where the parents are out there. Why isn't my kid playing? Well, because your kid sucks. No, I trust me. I'm out there playing with them all the time. You're not allowed to well, say that. You Coach suck Chris. too. <laughs> now he can try out for varsity again next year, right? No, absolutely. Yes, he can. And he so will be he a should. senior, which means guess what? He's He'll automatically. Actually have exactly granddad it in exactly whether he starts whether he plays a single that's minute, a whole other sex in. right thank you he's automatically on the team right I don't, those right. are my only two objections let's just say that's fine see but that's the same thing just like chris is saying look the bottom line is you get introduced into the team you get put on the team you're on the team that that's how it is but when you're forced into it like this this guy is he's Dude, first of all, you don't want to be put on a team. You Not don't want now. To be, you don't. No, exactly. Not now. You don't want to be oh, the no, kid yeah. he's, that gets forced to be put on a fucking team. It's he's just gonna, like that he's kid gonna be that butt gets... raped in the shower, like uh, Thirteen <laughs> Reasons Why, with the rake handle. That's what's gonna happen to him. <laughs> Wait, I, is a uh, California boardroom on your buy it or sell it? No, no. So in California right, now, you... they just passed a law that says every board of directors must in, must be uh half women like that's a what law. that's a law in california now so if you have a corporation you have a board of directors obviously so let me see if i got this right if and i'm just using her as an example she is i always say she's far and ahead of me in the in the world of brains in most categories if angela and i are working at the same job and i am more qualified i am highly qualified i got qualifications pouring out my asshole let's say you own the company it's I couldn't even sit on my own board just because I have to fit so many women. Well, you could sit on the board, but you have to. Have, so let's say we have Loki and Jabroni Inc. Okay. So we have Loki. You and might not be able there's, to sit on our board. There's the three of us. We would oh, have right, to have. We'd have to have three women on the. You, you board see how directly. he just put himself. On I know. The board I, like I see this. I see this. Motherfucker, I'm the chairman. <laughs> anyway, but you see what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't get out of your chair. That's the problem. <laughs> Hey, you know what? And because I stay in this chair, things are beautiful. They run smoothly. Yes, they are. I'm not, I'm just giving you shit. Moving and, right along. No, what do yeah. you got? Well, uh, just uh, a couple quickies, really. Okay. Uh, new beer I'm trying here, folks. Mm. Yeah, we got uh, some Blood Orange. Blood Orange from Jack Abbey's Craft Lagers. They make good beer. And, I will say that. And let me... Oop, the camera's yeah, over show, show, camera's the, over here. show the nice Blood folks. Orange wheat. Um, I saw this. I had to try it. There's also a cherry wheat. Mmm. Um, I saw this in a cherry wheat. I decided to try this one because I'm, no, I like, I'm into the, the orange. I was going to say, citrus. yeah, you know, it's funny. It's, isn't it, isn't it kind of crazy how your tastes do change over the years? Like, yeah, dude, like 10 years ago, try to throw coconut in front of me. I'm like, you get yeah, that shit away from much. me. And I'm like, I love coconut now. I, I can, shit, I can't get enough of coconut, man. I really can't. Well, it's well, for me, it's great, for man. me, I never, I was a liquor drinker. As you knew, I, as you knew, I drank liquor for most of my life. And then I didn't really start drinking beer till I started drinking Corona. One of the things I liked about it was the lime and all that and that whole thing. Don't fruit the beer. Don't don't fruit it. Whatever. Dude. What was that? The Manlock commercials. Don't fruit the beer. <laughs> Fucking... Look, no, there's certain look IPAs. You can't have a decent IPA without an orange. I'm sorry, man. Or as has orange peel. Or right, orange right, exactly. Zest or you have gimmick. to have some kind of that citrusy. Wally is really good. Yes, that's, not, that's what I'm saying. It's, really it's, it's the good, same actually. idea. I and, hate IPA. And even and even um Sam Adams juiced. Yes, their yes. ones. But you can't have a good IPA without having some sort of citrus. I like the citrus. Citrus and like beers. Whole garden I and, think that mm. works. Cherry. Uh, but what are you saying with the cherry wheat? I've had uh, a cherry wheat beer. Sam Adams, so Sam Adams. It's a little tart, but I'm not a big not fan of it, bad. man. Use I'm, it I'm cooking. Not, I just don't. I, know, I could, yeah, I, I can do like that. My mom now. I can do that. No, you're absolutely right. I made with a, a loaf turkey, of bread. Or yeah, yeah. With there the you go. Wheat. Yes. Oh yes. my god. I, I will be trying the the cherry wheat next because this is really good. Uh, my only complaint about it, um, if you've ever had like a, a blue moon or a shock top, there's a little bit of an aftertaste. This has more of an aftertaste. Okay. That's good. So, uh, sometimes I, like orange aftertaste or beer aftertaste, like a sour aftertaste. Almost. Ah, yes, that's yeah. not good. So, that, right. That's kind of iffy. Yeah. That's iffy. So it's a I'm good, not buying that one. It's a, <laughs> it tastes good. It's a great beer to drink and everything, but you're going to have an aftertaste. Um, and if you're honestly looking to get drunk, this is probably not the one for you. It's a 4% alcohol. 
But. No, but you know what? Sometimes the lower alcohol content means it's a slower. I prefer you know, light beers. You know, yeah. Same so. here, except for the IPAs. The, for me, the bigger the better. The bigger the ABV, the bigger the IBU, the better it is. Yep. But again, um, I can't remember what we tried recently, Angela and I, and the ABV was 4.2. It was a pumpkin Brooklyn gimmick schnabel. It's Furnum. It was really good. It was really light. It was airy. It, but you could slow sip it. And it wasn't going to get you wrecked, so the, that was a, that was a plus. The the orange beer I really loved was the Clown Shoes. Uh, it was an orange, um, like Belgian white beer. It was very really good, good choice. And I noticed Clown Shoes is making its way. I like Clown through Shoes. The package stores now. Yeah, no, they, it's our, they're everywhere now. Well, the they one really down, are. The, the, I, I what did I bring? Clown Shoes it was a uh, space cake one time. Yeah, that was the, good. Yeah, that That's was down good. Here, um, I saw. I, I saw it, space I saw cake. It. Uh, the other one I saw was um. They got an Oktoberfest. Oh uh, shit! Oh, no, I it didn't wasn't know the Oktoberfest. It was something to do like the, another space stout. one. There's a space yeah, I know. I cowboy, no, it was a cowboy. Space cowboy. Yeah, yes, yes. The dude had like literally another space helmet, but he had a Pompous cowboy hat. I think that's the Imperial Stout. You might is it be the right. Imper- All right, all right, I maybe think, it is. I think it's framing itself like Empire. Dar, 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 dar. Oh, maybe, maybe. But, but yeah, I know he's got a cowboy hat on, but he also has the. We'll uh, have to ask Jim Olimir if I can ever get him back to, on the phone. Right. What, what, one more thing that's <laughs> on my mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, going back to a game that we were pretty enthusiastic about and just kind of took a turn. Um, this Friday keeps the coming 13th, up, man. Oh. The lawsuit, uh, the the first part of the lawsuit is over. Is it? Nice. Uh, Victor Miller won. The the writer of the first film, he won. Which So that means we're fucked. No. No, no, it's not. He wins everything to do with that first film. So that's all the lawsuit was about was that first film. But because the rights were in question, nothing could be oh, done. Oh, I got you. Okay. Okay. So he okay. won he won that first film. In U.S. distribution rights, Sean Cunningham still has uh, international. He could appeal the decision, uh, but Victor Miller only owns Jason in the sense of the kid that came out of the water and pulled the girl under the water, or the boy that drowned. Right, right. He doesn't own Jason as the unstoppable hockey mask monster, so he has no claim to that ever. All right, that makes sense. Oh, okay, so, okay, so okay. Because Jason kind of – the whole series kind of took a turn. After the second one. Yeah, I'd say. But, um, like I said, Sean Cunningham could appeal, in which case uh, the, the, it could get drawn out. Gun Media is supposed to put out a press release about that, but they already turned over um, the game from, uh, was it Ilphonic? Uh, Ilphonic <clears throat> is no longer working on the game. They gave it to some Japanese company that's going to continue to work on it to support the server, etc., etc. Whether or not they'll put out the new content, nobody knows, but right. it's been handed off. Ilphonic is moving on to other things. We may or may not get new content. I don't know. But I've been playing a lot more of uh, the other one there, uh, Dead by Daylight. Oh, me. oh yeah. Yes. Because yes. they came out with uh, some new monsters. and, and Michael Myers good. is in there. Oh, he's been in there. I know. Uh, Leatherface. <laughs> uh, Freddy Krueger. I just, I just like Michael Myers. The, I just love Michael from Myers. Saw. Oh no shit! Yeah, the pig from Saw. Yeah, he's actually yeah. It's a, he's pretty good, or she's pretty good. It's actually a girl, mm-hmm. and um, they just came out with a new one that's kind of like some Japanese horror, or whatever. She's all like, and oh that that weird yeah, uh, that shit freaks me out, man. It does. Um, and before we get out of this real quick, yep. um, don't know if you guys have been kind of like active on the whole uh you know social media front, but a lot of people have been posting this, especially being Halloween, um. They're about there. In the old house, it happened to me a lot. I'm not going to lie. A lot, a lot. And it, and it really scared the piss out of me. My new house, not so much. I I don't think I've actually had it happen to me yet. Um, It's called Sleep Perilous. Paralysis? Time, uh, paralysis, thank you. It happened to me once or twice. Not, I, not here, but is that not Is that like, not some crazy, scary-ass motherfucking, you like... You wake up, you can't move a muscle. And you can't move, and you are, you are, like, you're you're there. Mm-hmm. Like, you're looking around this room, like, but you are solid in your place. Um, A lot of people are placing it towards, obviously, dynamic, you know, a demon holding you back. Oh, for the love of Pete. Um, whatever it is, you know, some, some... Well, I mean... It's 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 you know it's can't uh, announce it until I'm there. I guess. Right, exactly, and uh, I think we've all had that feeling. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, 
And I, and I don't know if it's, uh, say, an entity that actually holds you back or holds you down or, or does what it does to you. Um, but I, I, I will tell you that it, it is a real feeling. Yeah, I've actually woken up. I've never had, like, the full-on paralysis, but I've woken up to where I, got, I just got out of bed casually and, like, my legs just weren't there and I, like, collapsed. And it's it took, called old age. No, like, <laughs> all right, this happened. This happened in my twenties, bro. Okay, like, just, just, it's I don't called know. Called cocaine. It could be. All right, but like, no, like, I just, I just, what? They could move. I could move them if I tried, but they weren't there when I first stood up. And that's almost like the. Uh, eventually, the they just came back. Right, like that's almost like the dream when you can't scream. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or the dream uh, where where you can't like you can't reach for something. It's it's. How they say it is like when you when you go to when you are it's the other one was uh if you go to if you look in the mirror and you start pulling teeth out of your face mm-hmm. that was uh something to do with like you were supposed to say something to somebody throughout the day um you not having legs is you were supposed to like f- like move remove yourself from a situation you know what I'm saying that's that's why you get a sleep pull uh, a I, I can't fucking say paralysis. paralysis. Thank you. I can't say this word to save my life. And I'm a goddamn DM and we say this marijuana is a hell of a drug. No, it really it's it's just paralysis in itself. I'm like, save versus paralysis. Just I, say just say I fail can do that. Fear check. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um <laughs> if you've and I think I think we're on the same page here. Yeah. Like we've we've had this feeling. You are literally in bed. You are literally looking around. You are up. But you can't move. No, you are stiff as a no, board. No, you can't Jones. move. You can't. You, 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 you. The only thing you could do is move your eyes around, and it literally feels like there is this weight that's holding you down. And then it's almost as if you can't take it anymore. You tell yourself, "This is a fucking dream," but you know it's not a dream. But you tell yourself enough that this is a dream, and you coax. I want to say almost coax yourself out of it. You know what I'm saying? Coax yourself out of it. Um, what do What do you guys think this is? I don't know. That's a good. I'm not a psychiatrist. I mean, do you think it's your brain playing tricks on you? Possibly. Do you really think this no is this other side of this? You know, like I said, being a spooky Halloween. You think it's this other? You know, this other dimension uh, that we don't uh, fucking uh, talk about very often. I, I don't doubt that there's things out there that we don't know about or don't understand, but I, I'm not going to put my stamp and my name on something and say, that's what it is because I'm not educated in those ways. So for me, I'm just going to say it's my mind fucking with me, but I'm not going to deny the existence of other forces. It's just weird how it like, you know what I'm saying? Like I was in the other place and I always kind of felt weird about that place. I always kind of felt there was something off about that place. It was Evan. No, no, I'm just kidding. No, uh, actually, I did find out that the dude lied to me about uh, his old lady did pass away in that house. No shit. Yes, she was the one that was fucking with the Wi-Fi. That's I'm it. Telling you, <laughs> That's why the Logan okay. Jabroni show. I think it was more than just the Wi-Fi, dude. <laughs> They've got a guest tonight. Ooh. I'm going to fuck with the Wi-Fi. Ooh. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you guys remember those Poltergeist films? Yes. Yes. Remember the second one uh, with that guy? Like the second one, probably a weaker film than the first no, one. No, it was definitely. But but, but yeah. that one guy, uh, what the hell was his name? Kane. And he was like old and he kind of, he was so old. It looked like he was just skin grafted yeah. onto a skull. And he's just like, he's like, you need to let me in. Your children are in danger. Yeah. Y'all going to die in there. Like that guy. When I first saw that movie, I was pretty young. And he just freaked me the fuck out. And there's like a scene where he's like under, he's in a grave with all his followers. He's like, ah, ha, ha. and I sort of got, I was having a nightmare where that guy just popped up and he just started fucking screaming. And I woke up and when I woke up, he was still fucking screaming clear as day. So yeah, I totally believe it's your brain. I think if your brain wants you to hear or see something, it's going to do it. Cause mm-hmm. I, I heard that guy scream clearly. Okay. All right. So before we get into what has become one of my favorite segments. Yes. Mine, buy and sell. mine too. Let, let's talk about going to LokinJabarni.com, doing some great shopping with our affiliates. Just the two off the top are Amazon and WWE. They have brought in so much for us. But go to the other great affiliates, the monthly club, all the great stuff we have there. 
If you want to donate to the show, it's p a t r e o n patreon dot com forward slash Loki and Jabroni. If you want a sexy T shirt like Eddie's wearing right now, you can go to cafepress dot com forward slash Loki and Jabroni. Buy yourself a T shirt, a coffee mug, a bumper sticker, a baby onesie, whatever you want. A long sleeve sweatshirt, man. We're getting into hoodie season. I cannot wait. And speaking of cannot wait, eleven seventeen eighteen. Is Constitution State Wrestling, yes. and we are all in, baby. Yes. Just waiting for the word from the promoter, and we are there once again. And Elvis, if you are there, brother, I am coming for you like nobody's business, little man. That's a haircut match, isn't it? Hopefully, if I can get through with the promoter, it's going to be a haircut match. Me versus all, Elvis. All of it, right? All of it. Everything. Wait a minute. You talk about my face, too? Dude, you said hair. Oh, it don't matter. It's my birthday. I already said this. It's all, it's all got to get shaved. Oh, it, there there could be something drastic uh, happening. I got, I, got a, I got a little ace in my pocket, if you know what yeah, I mean. I, I think, yeah, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, no, no, it is. It's all hair. It's Whoa. All hair. <laughs> I am not dropping trout in front of. No, not that. 300 it's a family people. Not that show. hair. Head, it's neck up. Neck up hair. It's a family show that's, <laughs> that's dumb enough to let us there. Exactly. So, ladies and gentlemen. Break your wallets out, open your minds, and open your mouths. Because here it comes. Bye. Make it look so sophisticated. It is. It's it's supposed to be sophisticated. That was that was the whole reason. All right, so I'm gonna get right into it. Chris, why when he starts with me, I get scared. It's awesome, man. I love this. Major League Baseball's wild card starts tonight. Yes, with the one game wild card chance. What the fuck, dude? Do you now? First of all, before I say the words, buy or sell. Mm -hmm. And let me hold on. I'm sorry, people. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta click you out of YouTube. Sorry, mm-hmm. I gotta get to my timer. Sorry. Uh, people. Oh yeah, the timer. That's yep. Important. Gotta get to my timer. Gotta get to my timer. All right, here we go. And there's my timer. Already set for thirty seconds. I love it. <clears throat> you, as we are, a mm-hmm. hundred plus game fucking winning team. Yes. That is that. That's franchise shit right there, dude. That's amazing. Being franchise now. And mm-hmm. I say this to you. You are led into a wild card game against the A's. Mm-hmm. This one game wild card chance. Mm-hmm. Buy or sell? Sell. I've never been a fan of it. I, I said that when they opened with it, I don't know how many years ago, three, four years ago. When they introduced the wild card, I was cool with it. You get the three divisions, you got the one wild card. You have four teams, play it out. Adding the fifth team is the participation trophy of Major League Baseball. There's no reason for the A's to be there. The Yankees won that wild card fair and square. They should be in playing the number one seed, the Boston Red Sox, this week, even though they just played them a couple nights ago and put the smack down on your candy asses. You're welcome. Hey, I wouldn't want to face you guys right now after we just faced you. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to fucking lie, dude. I actually kind of want the fucking A's to beat you in one game. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I got you. Ed, what do you got? I, I'm going to agree with him. I mean, play the Put game. Put it on layaway. Play it. the game and play to win. Right. Yeah, throwing in another team or whatever just to. Don't make it like the NBA playoffs and have every team except four make the playoffs. That's just stupid. Well, let's look at it this way. They get good money to play these games, okay? There is a prize to go for. Play the fucking game and win. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Eddie. I got, nice I got, uh, just one thing to add, and this is from a Red Sox fan. Um, you only get thirty seconds. It pisses me off. <laughs> I, I don't even need thirty seconds. It pisses me off that you can get a hundred wins and get thrown out in one game. Yeah, that's 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 all oh, I gotta say. And on the on the flip side, um, I saw somebody today wearing wearing a shirt that said hundred seven wins, best season ever." Which I get it. It was Boston's best season ever but there are six teams ahead of you that have had more wins so eh turn in your shirt you suck i got to well, stare us, i got to stare at my not daughter for real us, quick it who was decided the best. to join the festivities what can i do for you 
D's no, nuts? I don't, I don't need D's nuts. I, I want. Can you say that louder so the folks can hear it? No. She says, "Do we want pumpkin cookies with D's nuts in them?" I would love D's nuts in your cookies. <laughs> Bring your cookies. I'll put D's nuts in them. You want to play the game? I can play better. March your march your butt back upstairs. I think that's illegal in like forty eight. No, no, no. States. She's not. She's not related to me. It's okay. <laughs> See, she can't even speak right now. I told you a long time ago you can't play this game with me. Yes, we would probably all enjoy it. No. Stop oh being gross. God. You walked through my door talking about these nuts. All right, Ed. Oh. Ed. <laughs> Fuck pumpkin. Kanye trying to abolish. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Change the 13th Amendment. Now. It was. I actually did myself a little favor. For those of y'all who not educated, I wrote it down. You had a hard time saying that word, didn't you? Educated. Paralysis educated. Educated. Right. Not public school, though. Neither slavery nor indentured servitude. Indentured servitude. Indentured servitude. Yeah. servitude. Exactly. Yeah. The rest of us. Except as punishment for a derper. Where the party? See, I'm just adding. I'm 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 doing like Kanye right now because first I want you to understand he did say abolish, okay? Yeah. The word abolish was up there. And if you looked at the thread, I told him you can't abolish an amendment. I know. I, I, ex okay. And this is why it's here. This is why it's here right now, okay? Where the party shall have been duly convicted shall exist within the United States or any other place subject to their jurisdiction ed i am not saying abolish because he even realized he was retarded for saying corrected it corrected himself yeah. right thank you how about the change buy or sell uh well i know what he meant i'm gonna buy it 100 percent. he's just referring to putting people in cages and um if 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 i have made it very clear nonviolent people shouldn't be put in cages and i never thought i would say this in a million years I can't believe I'm fucking saying it, but Kim Kardashian has done more good in this world than every snowflake on the fucking internet screaming about ma racism because of her ma, ma racism. Ma racism. That's what I call it. Like everything's racist. She's actually convinced the president to pardon a bunch of federal people in no, jail yeah. for nonviolent crimes. Yeah, it is. Yeah, she has. She has. I, I so, will give that. Um, and, and as far the other the thing, thing, don't forget the other thing before I. Pass this on to Chris because you can't go beyond your whole 30 seconds. You, you really can't. Exactly. You so much more, exactly, don't you? Exactly. So that's why I said 30 seconds. You got to make it as, as much as possible. You got to realize the other thing that he's trying to make a point on is the fact that a lot of these people are getting free labor. Well, not yes. people, but the, but the prisons mean, yeah. themselves are getting free labor off of these quote unquote prisoners. Chris, you're 30 seconds by yourself. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to buy it and I'm going to piggyback Ed's point is if you're a guy who like uh, what's his name? Bernie Madoff, who built people out of billions of dollars. You shouldn't be in the same population with a guy that killed 14 people. Um, you should be put in a certain house program, a bracelet around your ankle. You're, you're not hurting people. You you stole their money, whatever. Uh, I'm going to agree. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm going to say this. I'm going to agree with Kanye on this one. Let, let, let's ask a, a question. Bonus 20 quick. seconds. Let's Bonus 20 seconds. Give him, give him, give Let, him. Let's say, it, uh, obviously, you can only amend the Constitution. You can't abolish things. Right. Let's say you abolish a 13th Amendment. Does that mean everyone's going to go outside, grab themselves a few black people, and say, hey, you're mine now? No. It does No. No. Because it, it's this, not necessary. This Arkansas, says, maybe, no, but, you, but you not the understand. other 49. Not Listen even. to the words. Neither slavery nor Indentured servitude. I, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. These are good cookies. You got to try one. I, I I will in just a second. That means jail time, people. Okay. <laughs> let's let's that's bring, kidnapping. That's, no, that's not kidnapping. That's slavery. It's 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 a lot of other things. No, slavery, slave. No, what they're saying by by them saying nor by them actually putting a word in between those two things is they're actually saying slavery is different than prison. You well, get this? Like, at, if you are slavery, 
not to cut you off at the time too, indentured servants were people that were forced to work for someone forever for free. But also, but also prisoners. Right. The the second part of the amendment refers to prisoners, except in the case of right, right. And, but even but even back then, they were prisoners. Mm-hmm. Irish yeah. were prisoners. Yeah. Uh, Scottish prisoners. Italian. Japanese, Freaking, yeah, t- Italians, Japanese, oh, Chinese FDR, prisoners. Japanese. Like let's see, honestly, that's how they were. Yeah. They weren't slaves, but they were prisoners. But they were still working for pennies on the dollar, and that's the point. That's yeah, for the anything point. at all. Hey, here's the thing: how much is Kanye <clears throat> worth? Like four million, five million, something like that. Yeah, there's nobody gonna make him a slave. He should not. I'd if anybody's him. gonna own people, it is, it's gonna be Kanye West. If I could make Kanye West but, make me a fucking sandwich, look, I would. If I could make one, more money than Kanye West and then make that motherfucker make me a sandwich, yeah. and have his wife yes. deliver it. So here's fuck, nah, thing. fuck that bitch. Here, no, I just wanted to deliver that one it. where she's like laying like this. I don't give a fuck about her, her body. I don't want to touch her. I just want her to bring me the ham and mustard I, I sandwich. I don't like her either. The thing is, I can't say she hasn't been doing some good. She's no, actually, no, she has. She's taken advantage of her position. No, she has. She she's has. much like we've talked about before. Yeah. She's using her celebrity for the greater good. Right, and the and the the stuff that never gets on the news, which we'll probably do another president report card soon. Oh, fuck I think yeah. we, need to we do should. That. Yeah, no, we are. He's we are. he's. I'd love for some of these crybabies to chime in that I invited. Yep. Yeah, he's... and there was one non crybaby crybaby I invited to the show to explain his Kavanaugh stance and said, no, 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 I'd rather not. That's okay. I get it. You you at least answered. The rest of you, fuck yourselves. Actually, right. they found some text messages. Chris, right? it's not looking good for Kavanaugh. Mike, <laughs> it is Halloween. And, of course, with Halloween coming around the corner, you have all the Halloween movies, mm-hmm. right? 29 days till Halloween. Of course, Halloween, of course, Halloween, of course. 29, 29 days till Halloween. But don't forget, there was this one movie Shamrock. called The Craft. Mm-hmm. And there was this chick in there, Feruza Balk. Yes. Dorothy. What's hot her name? or not, buy or sell. 20 years ago, hot. Today, haven't seen her, don't know. I'm she going... looks exactly the same, actually. Does she really? Yeah, Well, she really since I, I haven't seen her, I'm putting this on layaway. <laughs> no, I can pull, pull a picture right here. I'll pause it. I'll pause up. it. Pull a, she's 44 years old. I'm going around the table. I'm going to use Ed's mic. <laughs> All right. We are putting buy or sell on pause. Ladies and gentlemen, take this time right now to go to your local Loki and Jabroni store right now. If you go on to LokiandJabroni.com, you will see one of our many fine affiliates. You can take this time right now to take those fine affiliates and join one of them, whether it be Amazon, whether it be one of our beer vendors, whether it be perhaps maybe if you want to get some clothing. There's all sorts of other things going on. Of course, uh, hey, right now me, they have, there's a hashtag. Of course, they use the word pound. Me too. You know, it's not too late to get ahead on the uh, fantasy football if you go to oh, you, can com. you can do that. You can do that. That's her now, 44 years old. Uh, I think that's a couple years old, but yeah, she doesn't look that much different. Okay, hold on. I'm going back to my seat. Okay, you guys good? All right. Um, okay, bye. hold on, hold on. Hold on. Turn it on. was layaway. You ready? Right, yeah. And I'm going to give you a little more time. No, no, no you don't. You, don't, okay. you only got to give me three more seconds. <laughs> and Watch go. It. Bye. Spank bank is full. You're welcome. <laughs> I honestly never had a thing for it. Oh, hold there on. There was something about hold her on, that I'd Hold on, hold on, go. Go, buy or sell. You're selling? Sell. I, I never really had a thing for her. She's not ugly, but I don't know. It's I'm not into the whole, you know, Steve Tyler. Freak status? Lip, Steve Tyler lip thing, you know. She's kind of got to go. <laughs> oh, <it's> just... <laughs> <laughs> the Mick Jagger thing, you know. It's like, yeah. This is why we pay him the big bucks. It's cool. Yeah. I She's mean, that crazy chick. I mean, it's cool if they swallow the sword, but not the whole nuts, too. You know? Sometimes you need I to have your know. nuts jiggled like I that. don't know. Balls and nuts. I, 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 no, no, I've seen too no. many horror movies. All right. You think? Uh, <laughs> Ed, this, you're going to love this one. Oh, boy. <clears throat> All right, so there's a big theory in the making. I don't know if you guys have heard this, but you guys are pretty good about the whole theories before you know before they happen happen. Mm-hmm. Like flat Earth, Fuck flat even Earth. better than this. Oh, it's even better than flat Earth. Oh, so do tell. We all know that the uh, Clintons are scumbags, evil. Besides that, what's their, what's what's their political murderers? Party? Democrats. Oh, Democrats. Thank you. What was Trump? Before he became a Republican. Well, he did donate a lot of money to the <gasps> Democrats. 
He was a he was a Democrat, and for a while he exactly. was also, for a while he was also a part of Ross Perot's party. For Thank a you. Bit. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank um, you. He's he's a dick rider. Now here he we go. He swayed with the wind like his toupee. He's a dick rider. I like yeah. that. Here we go, Eddie. Theory of the fact that Trump is actually a Republican to make the Republicans look bad because Hillary Clinton's coming in. And is going to be taking everything by storm by herself. I actually used to think that. I don't think that anymore. So you're selling it right now. I'm selling. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I. I think he is what he is. Honestly, and I still think at his core he's a New York Democrat. He acts like it, talks like it. Some of his policies are like that. You oh, know. Just um, oh, all right. With the exception of a few things, you know. Um, no, I, I I don't think he's a plan at all. I I I think Hillary uh, was actually shocked to lose. I think the people that voted for her were shocked she lost. And you know, bonus question: You think he's gonna win again? Um, yeah. By yourself, Chris. I'm gonna mm, I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> I don't think he like Ed said. I don't think he's a plant. I think he went in there with the kind of speak that the American people wanted to hear, and when they heard it, they 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 used their vote, man. They went out there and here he is, Donald J. Trump, 45th president of the United States. The problem is that there are certain people that can't look at the good he's done. They just look at the fact that every now and again, he opens his mouth and sticks his foot wide in. Not my fucking problem. Will he win again in 2020? I need 10 seconds. Will he win again in 2020? This, yeah, bonus class. Um, Unless the Democrats find someone that can out fuck the fucker, yeah, he wins. You know, win. They're talking Cory Booker. They're talking uh, fucking the one pretending to be an Indian there. There's only two people that are going to beat him. That's Henry Rollins or Jesse Ventura. Neither one of them would beat him. All righty then. So we are right back to you, my partner in crime. Oh, well, thank you very much. And this is the one that I was talking about earlier. No oh, shit. Michael Myers is the real boogeyman. So that means that Jason is only a child. That sold his soul to the devil by herself. Mm, uh, uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna buy it begrudgingly because uh, Michael Myers was a boy. He slashed up some people. He went away. He came back. Um, Jason supposedly drowned, died, jumps out of the lake, and now you got this uh, big beefy guy with a hockey mask. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy this. You, you're gonna buy the fact that Michael Myers, Michael Myers is, is the, the true man. boogeyman. He's and the omnipotent Jason being of is, your nightmares. Yes, and Jason is nothing more than a child that sold his soul to the devil. At Jason the is man. Aquaman. He's just a non-fucking factor. <laughs> it's that simple. He's Aquaman. Fuck Aquaman. Buy or sell it. I'm I'm buy I'm buy sell. <laughs> what the fuck is a no box? 37 genders you can't do this <laughs> fucking michael myers is the boogeyman but jason's not uh he has a soul to soul he's a curse uh he's a curse on irresponsibility in um uh he's a curse on i like um, where you're going you gotta soci- finish it finish so- it finish society it. society shaming on you know to the deformed to the mentally ill He's a curse. He's a punishment. I like it. That's I a like it. Good, point, way to man. finish Good that. Job. Way to finish that, man. I like it. I like it. I actually watched the movies. Yeah, so did <laughs> I. But I didn't. I didn't embrace them quite as much as you did. All right, now this neither is neither did the critics. Special bonus, and this That's three bonuses. Wow. No, this is. We this must is, have done our job really well. You guys did. This you is did. A bonus, boner, bonus. This is Don't the forget bonus, we just cookies bonus, here, guys. Bonus. Dig in. Yes. <coughs> I don't like pumpkin in Ed, the slightest. For you're gonna tell those... that young lady you're not gonna eat her cookies, right? Okay. I already said I don't eat pumpkin as she walked out while you were. Busy no, that talking that about did happen. Nuts. All right. Bonus question, Ed. Ed, for those of you that do not watch the C and J Speedway review, they like, have like me recently done a roval. Which they will be covering tomorrow night at 8.30 Ed, on the YouTube channel. Buy or sell the Roval. The fuck is a Roval? They took the... <laughs> st- stop his timer. Okay. Are you serious? You fucking... No. You know why? Because when he's producing the show, he we start, 
He goes away. He's playing video games. He's dealing right, with the kid. All right, he's go jerking go off ahead. all I over himself. I thought at least you heard about the role. I told him before we started, you need to watch this. They're going right and left, which is his biggest fucking complaint about racing. But it turns out in the right one ear, and left is a flat earth theory. In one <laughs> ear. No, it was in one ear, not the ass. Go. They, they took Charlotte a track. Motor Speedway. They did take Charlotte. And they actually cut a whole section out of it where it's like a little road yep, path. The infield. And then it goes back around for this big circle. And then it goes like this. And then, are you ready? Go so, ahead. They, so they altered a track. No, right. what basically, no they, they did. They altered it. If I just, uh, they kind of did. Uh, there's an infield road course for motorcycle racing. But they altered the oval in certain spots to include a little chicane here, a little S-turn here. So it was a 17-turn racetrack where usually you have four turns. You ready? Go. No, I'll buy it. Yeah, if you're going to up the game for, say, football, baseball, whatever, you can up the game for wrestling. Wrestling, racing. <laughs> fuck reigns. <laughs> fuck reigns. Hashtag fuck reigns. <laughs> I'm like staring at Bob Backlund while I'm talking about this. Like, you're off the game for wrestling. I got you. Bob Backlund, NASCAR champion. Um, he, he could have been a NASCAR so champion. What the fuck, Ed? But I think I made my Go point. Go ahead. Go. All right. Uh, totally buying it. Uh, said it last week on the CNJ Speed Review where our producer doesn't listen. Uh, I'm in favor of more road courses on the track. Um, anytime you can take a driver's overall ability on a very demanding road course, it makes the oh. championship that much more special the racing was exciting the last lap this past sunday in the cup race was fucking nominal and we had a surprise winner because jimmy johnson ate his own ass on the last lap absolutely this guys guy, this guy's fucking laughing at me and he's like been out of the wrestling game for like how long Are wrestling you talking about racing no now? race i'm fucking staring at I'm staring at Tito when I said that. Oh, good. Now you're going to blame Tito Santana? What, next you're going to blame China? She's dead. What are you going to... I was, I was about to say... Now uh, hiring producer. Now for those of you who <laughs> haven't watched the C&J Speed Review, make sure you guys tune in tomorrow to see what we're actually talking about. And for those of you who actually think that I did fall out of it, I did actually watch the whole nice. Roval. See the last so, lap? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Okay, so, real quick. I'm going to... Spoiler alert for those of you who are going to watch CNJ Speed Review tomorrow night, 8.30 on the YouTube channel. Um, All Jimmy Johnson had to do was follow Truex, and yeah. he's in the playoffs. Yeah, I agree. But he goes for that win. They touch. They both spin. I agree. And Ryan Blaney sneaks up and goes, thank you, fuck you, bye, and goes to the finish line. Jimmy Johnson is out of the playoffs because he tried to go for the win. All you had, and his spotter said it, all you have to do is stay in second. You are in the playoffs. Well, yep. sucks a, to be I you. I know he's out of my place of employment. Yes. <laughs> and now... It's going to suck taking down that big poster. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, no. You know what? I'd like to be there when you do. And if you could give me a call, I want to be there and just... Pick like, your store. Uh, they are all they all got them up on the fucking wall. Whatever somewhere. store I can get to, just let me know if there's a schedule. When they all come down, I want to be at every store. Gotcha. And I'm going to have my... Fu I'm going to make a shirt that just says, Fuck Jimmy Johnson. And it's going to say, Fuck Roman Reigns. Actually, right. it might be so worse. So it might be worse something later. Probably a good thing to keep. Maybe. It's huge, back though. Back to Fuck the live. All right. So now... There we go. I am live. Here we go. I'm, now... I am back Look to at the... you being live. This I'm, is awesome. I am live and shit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the part where we bring a little culture into your lives. Not that we haven't already. This is Jabroni's Musical Poetry Moment. All right, last week we actually had poetry, which we were discussing while you were watching that fantastic open. Or if you're on audio only, you were listening to the fantastic you were. open. You were. Um, this week is very special. I've picked out a very special piece. And if I can contain Mike's laughter when I read this, he doesn't. None of these guys know the pieces that I pick. I, I still think these two set me up. Absolutely not. No, I do not. No, I do bullshit. Nope. I but call I know. Horseshit. I know. I'm going to try a cookie. Go ahead. Because I, call I know horseshit. within. One, two, three lines, he'll he'll know. I think he'll know. And you might know too. So ladies and gentlemen, this week's musical poetry moment. 
<clears throat> We're leaving together, but still it's farewell. And maybe we'll come back to Earth. Who can tell? I guess there is no one to blame. We're leaving ground. Will things ever be the same again? We're heading for Venus. And still we stand tall. Because maybe they've seen us and will welcome us all. With so many light years to go and things to be found, I'm sure that we'll all miss her so. Ed? Music or poetry? Music. Okay. Mike? Music. Okay, do you know the passage that I'm reading? Let me, no, you got to ask him first. Come on. Do you know the piece of music that I'm reading? <laughs> so it's a passage. It's a poem. Yes, this is, is poem. actually music. It is music. You were right. It is music. I don't know. Okay. Don't say a word. I'm going to read it in its entirety. I skipped the choruses for a reason. Mm -hmm. It sounds so actually, familiar, though. Actually, I do got to give you props. Is it Rocket Man? No, it's not Rocket no. Man. I was just, you, Go ahead. You, I'm sticking it to the man, man this week. Fuck this, this shit. No. no. If you do ever do Rocket Man, I want to do it full on, dressed up with William Shatner, the cigarette and everything. You got to do it that way. Okay, yeah, but um, I'll work on that. No, you're you, you're drilling it to the whole day. You, you, you're 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 speaking it perfectly. Thank you. You really are. I, I've been teaching myself how to read music like poetry and poetry like music. I'm gonna read the first, the first verse, if you will, and then give you the chorus line, so you know. Why I did what I did. So we're giving away the answer today. Oh, we're we're even not. Well, I'm not even fucking around with the people. If you guys are answering now, congratulations. If you're not, here we go. We're leaving together, but still it's farewell. And maybe we'll come back to Earth. Who can tell? I guess there is no one to blame. We're leaving ground. Will things ever be the same again? It's the final countdown. The final countdown. Really? really? Yes, that was know. the final countdown by like Europe. And do you want to tell them why I'm sticking it to the man like this? Because they keep uh, hitting us with copyright claims. 170 yeah. plus episodes. We do the final countdown. And all of a sudden, the last two weeks, we get a little traction. People are listening. People are paying attention. All of a sudden, Germany, Canada, United States, Paraguay, Actually, Uruguay. Bro. Last time was 75 countries. Bro, 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 bro. 75 including countries. Including the United States. Yeah. The video was essentially banned last week. I had to completely yeah. take it out. No, I know. I, I actually reposted it on Twitter, and I actually had a few people actually like go to grab it and it was, in the country, it was banned yeah. yeah and they were like um that's funny and i was like fuck dude yeah so you go like watch a video and it's banned so it's we're gonna fuck so we're gonna have to work on some new uh top 10 stuff well no, this is I'm my fiving. week for top 10 and i'm, I'm telling fiving. you right now we're gonna find out you're gonna find out what happens later or fuck we are or, or i don't know we'll figure out maybe we'll have a new routine or something we'll figure it out We'll have something. Maybe I'm we'll always, put poetry moment at the end. We'll do the buy and sell. I've always been a very big fan of uh, Triple H's original in entrance. What that? Da, 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 da. Oh. Oh. Find some good public domain <laughs> shit that sounds like a countdown. <laughs> or in the Hall of the Mountain King. Oh, that's good. I still got that big folder. Old swing. All right, so guys, we came here today to talk about our favorite cover songs. I got a list yes. of about 800 songs here. I pared it down to my 10 favorites. I got five honorable mentions. You guys like said five at first, so I had five, and I had like three honorable mentions. You I, want some of mine? I, well, here, I no, said I, I said it should be five because I think 10 takes too long. No, we're just we're not think, we're not going to debate the veracity of each one. We're just going over what we thought was our favorites, and if we happen to match a couple, great. I, I got a list of about 45 here I can pull from. Yeah, I, think, I well, go overboard every time. The wrestler know. list, I had fifty, pared it down to ten. It was crazy. Oh, that wrestler one sucked. I ain't gonna lie, that sucked. Dude. <laughs> that sucked. This wasn't. It bad. didn't suck, but at this the end, it was great. Oh no, 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 it no, sucked because no. he wasn't here. No, that was the Intercontinental Champion. Thank you, thank you. Go fuck a dick. What? Wow, you hello. There for the he was. One. He was here That's for what the I just what said. About. No, he's talking about the favorite no. wrestlers. Thank yeah. you. Because you can say, Thank "Oh, I you. can slide this guy here," but you know I can't. What? I, I, no, go don't ahead. go fuck a dick. Go fuck whatever a transsexual turtle has. It has a dick that identifies as a woman. So then, go fuck Mr. America. Oh, I I like what you did there. <laughs> Very slick. Very All right. slick. Do you have? I don't have mine one to ten. I just have ten favorites. So I, they can I be have in any my order. I have my top five. So I'll give you these, and then I'm going top five. Well, we'll okay. start on number tens anyway. They're going to be at the yeah. bottom of the list. So I'm, I'm just going to go in order. So I'm just going to go backside, and then my top five will come and in folks, as my five. Folks, chime in if there's songs that you mm -hmm. like that we don't mention. 
Um, Absolutely. All right, start with if you numbered them one to ten, I'm just gonna go on my right. list. Um, so I'm gonna go with number ten right off the bat. Um, Janelle actually used to sing this shit at karaoke, and I actually like I thought she was doing the original, but she was actually doing. How can you tell? <laughs> at karaoke, depending because the, the meter... when you see the actual beginning and it says the who the artist was. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it, I've sung some it of mine. It wasn't the artist, yeah, right? I've it sung some of mine at karaoke, and if I sang the originals, it would be a different. It tone. wasn't the uh, the original artist. Uh, Something's got a hold of me by Christina Aguilera. Nice. When she originally did, obviously, the the cover of that, it was kind of like basic. Um, I want to almost say say bubblegum pop, mm-hmm. if you want to kind of go with that, and then. She just kind of came off of her ex Tina phase. You guys remember that? Yep. So, yeah, thank you. You you gave me the eyes for a reason. But how do you get somebody who was down here at horror level to kind of get up here to this level? I'm going to tell you how. You have her sing something like this that's come from like the 70s fucking old school fucking retro shit. You have her add a little bit of flair to it. You add some fucking classic fucking lipstick, a nice little red dress, and then bam, instantly she has a little bit of her image back. I'll buy it. You know, I... I couldn't take her serious as a singer during that phase. I don't know why. I couldn't either. That's why I said... And she's a great singer. When when she first started singing this, and I saw it was Christina Aguilera, I was like, I don't remember Christina Aguilera singing this song. And I actually went back and watched the video, and I was like, wow. Then I saw what year it was, and I was like, wow. This was literally right after her ex Tina phase. So she like literally needed this image to bring her up. And sometimes like a cover and I, and I have a couple covers like this and I do, as a matter of fact, my number five cover is exactly like this. Um, It's not necessarily the cover of the cover that makes it great. It's the opposite even though it is a cover of a song that what it becomes makes it become what it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'll buy it. You know, I just numbered mine because if we're going to go 10 to 1, I just want numbers behind it. See? See? That's They're what I was doing. Mine are in no particular order, but I just gave them numbers. Uh, Thin Lizzy had a really great song early oh, in their career. Oh, I almost did that one, <laughs> yes. It's yes. one of my favorites. Number 10 comes in, Metallica, Whiskey in the Jar. Just a fun, upbeat song. You don't expect that from Metallica. Uh, the video is great. Looks like any house party any of us went to in the 90s. Just a fun fucking tune. When it comes on the radio, you turn it up a little louder. You drive a little faster. Uh-huh. It's just so much fucking fun. Whiskey in the jar row. Da. Ed. All right. I, I, this, when I thought of the, the very bottom, I thought of a song that was like, you know, it was a lot of fun. And um, I should point out all of the ones I've picked, I actually think are better than the originals. A lot of these, I think, are too. I, I'm going to say that right. Uh, they're, they're all. I'm not to say they're not all good songs, but I think they're better than the original. Ten eight six five four reason. three one. I'll go with that. No, yeah. I'll go with that. Yeah, for, go for ahead. That, well, I'll go with that. For whatever reason, I think they're better than the originals. And this is well, maybe just a not song. one. Maybe not one, but I'll tell you that this is a song that I just thought was kind of fun, like during my youth, and I've always been a fan of her. Uh, I picked Tiffany. I think we're alone now. Love Tiffany. Love not Tiffany. even on my big list. And, and let me tell ever, you what. And let me tell you what. Not a lot of people realize that that is a cover right. song. And, Unless your mother grew up as a Tommy James and the Shondells and, fan. And not like a lot a, of people realize either that the original is really bad. It is kind of bad. I don't it's like really the original. It's really I, slow. It's really slow. Yeah, I don't it's just, like the It's just syrupy. It's not. She throws a little bit of stank <laughs> into it. And I don't mean yeah. stank in a bad way. You know, when but, she's like, you know. You know, trying to get away into the night. And it just, she throws that stank on it and it made it that much better. I, I should say too, like there's a couple on here that I think when I, when I put out that I think they're better than the original, some people are going to think I'm, I'm no. breaking some sacred cows. No. Trust me, but here's what I, this here's is going to be fun. My challenge Let's to the listeners, way. write these down or as you're listening, write them down. Or as you're listening later on, write them down. Go listen to these versions if you never heard them before. Go listen to the originals and then come back and tell us, oh, you know, you were right on Metallica, but you might have been wrong on Tiffany or whatever. Just tell us what you think. I think all of of these are better than the original. And if you want to listen to any of these, uh, use the Amazon link in the bottom of the description there and sign up for Amazon Music. My my number nine was not better than the original. However, 
I loved how they did it, and I absolutely fucking loved the original song. So the fact that they did what they did, the Sundays, Wild Horses, the original obviously being by Rolling Stones. Mm-hmm. Um, Good call. I don't know if you guys are a big fan of Wild Horses. I am. It's a great song. It's uh, it's it's a different song. What movie it's was a... that in the nineties? I I remember. Oh, this, the, the one from Sundays. Yeah. Uh shit. Was that a uh, Cruel Intentions? It might have been. In the car scene. In yes. The... Yes. Okay. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yes. Yep. Wow. Great fucking show. What do you got, man? Uh, number nine, a Kinks classic that uh, certain band from Pasadena, California, took and just owned it. Uh, Van Halen, you really got me. I love that fucking song. You hear that riff? I like, da 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 da. Oh my god! And everything about Van Halen, just wow. They they really took that song and made it their own. If you, you could grab me a UFO, I'll go into my number nine. I would be nine. glad to. All right, UFO uh, is not on my list, by the way. Um, <laughs> they did do a cover song. Me either. But they're not on my list. Right, not on my, my list. Actually, I, I I will stand corrected. My number nine, I don't think is necessarily better than the original, but I think it complements the original a lot and and it's a fun song to listen to uh oh the movie was fear that's right the roller coaster oh, scene yeah, yeah. okay yeah. oh you yeah. are so right um, no jay was right she told me before i came here too and i was like what was that movie and she fucking reminded oh well jay if you're watching you win man <laughs> you win the good internet. job girly girl you win uh, the she, internet she uh um, she chimed in right here uh, <laughs> you win girl good job so yeah this song i think actually complements the original i think it's done very respectfully but it's still fun Dynamite hack, boys in the hood. Ooh, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, add a little melody to to a gangster song, and it's just like really awesome. Wow, just just the way they, I don't know, sing that choke the bitch and smack the whole part. I love it. <laughs> I got yeah. one like that on my list, and you'll agree with me when you hear it. Number eight for me, um, better than the original, and it kind of made me listen to him. I think a lot of people, if it wasn't for uh, Dope Ride. This song made you do it. Uh, beautiful people, Marilyn Manson. Um, All right, come on, man. I mean, it just we'll agree to disagree. The riff is. I like the song. I, I, I love the song. A, I love the song. A, you might have, first time ever somebody stumped me on music. Didn't know it was a cover. Exactly. Exactly. Second. Exactly. Thank you're you. You're right. When you Thank hear you. that riff, you can't help but take notice. Like, duh, 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 what's going on? Duh, 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 what's duh, going duh, 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 duh. on? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, they used it as the uh, SmackDown WWE Open for years. And then, and it, and it worked. made you stand up it and take worked. notice. Absolutely. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I'm going to shock a couple people here. Maybe not you guys at the table. Maybe just one of you at the table. But um, uh, my parents were very much 50s, 60s, and country. Uh, a real odd combination, but uh, somewhere around 91. The horns. Right? 91, 92. Um, Whitney Houston, I Will Always Love You. Oh, fan, better than the original. Fan fucking tastic. That song sends chills down anybody's All spine. Right. All right, we got one uh, agreement then. I got her as my number five. Okay, well, we'll, so, we'll yeah. I want to hear your description when we get to yeah, number we'll get five. To but, man, there's just... The first time I heard it, you, you it's that thing, like I said in the open. Like I, I've heard this song before, but I don't know where I've heard it. And then she belts that and and the orchestration let, let's stop there yeah when you know dolly the Parton's production song, oh better. my lord because like that that prelude toward the end and then they hit that big drum thump and uh and, oh my god well that, she made it an anthem she Whit- did so dolly Parton made it a love song yes and whitney houston made it an anthem but you know what if the two of them had ever gotten together to do that song would have been fucking gold heads exploding gold. all over the place but no uh, Mediocre movie, great song. <laughs> Fent- uh, no, and you know what? That's a lot of a lot of songs that come from movies come from yeah. shit movies. But, but I think honestly, I- I'll be Celine so bold. Dion, a shit song from a shit movie. I'll be Fuck so Titanic. Bold. I love Titanic. I will. Be- oh my god! I don't like Celine Dion, but I love Titanic. I'll be so bold to say Jack didn't that have to die. that song sold the movie. Oh, of course. Bottom line, there's no reason that movie yeah. should have made as much as it did if that song didn't say theme from the bodyguard and then people went oh what's the bodyguard like I let me go watch see, the fucking movie and i like kevin costner don't get me wrong i did not see a huge i didn't see a lot of chemistry between him and whitney houston no 
You know, and I, I actually saw the movie. I'm not ashamed. I actually, I'm ashamed. I saw it. it I was, paid it to was watch like it. The 90s. Yeah, that was a it, quintessential. I saw singles, and I hate grunge. I kind of like singles, <laughs> but you're right. I do hate grunge. Yeah. Mike Michael disagree when he comes back, but grunge was just not my thing, man. Rock and roll and music is supposed to be fun. You're not supposed to be like, oh, everything oh, sucks. Man. Jenga, Jenga, Jenga. <coughs> Peace off. And no. no, nobody should wear that much flannel. Correct, unless you're a lumberjack. So yeah, me, me and uh, J- J- uh, Loki's joining us again. Me and Jabroni have an agreement on uh, Whitney Houston. I'll always love you. She's my number five. And it's we're gonna his, hear uh, his description yeah, later I'll go, on. I'll go into it later. That works. So. so what's your number eight, sir? Um, my number eight. Um, I wasn't sure if we were allowing this. This is a live performance, but it's a cover. No, we, yeah, that that, that I, counts. Yes, all yes. right. The, I I don't know why I love watching this performance. I will click it on YouTube every now and then. It was Black Thought and Eminem does LL Cool J's "Rock the Bells." It was a tribute to LL Cool J, and they just fucking hammer the song. I it's like just it. fucking great, phenomenal. Yeah, great so choice. It's just a lot of energy in the performance. Uh, "Rock the Bells" is still. I don't know. The, it's got one of the best openings, I think. LL Cool J is harder than hell. Mm-hmm. Battle M- NEMC, I don't care who you tell. Mm-hmm. I excel. They Mil- all fell. I Milky came to cereal. rock the bells. Milky cereal. Milky cereal. All right, it's your turn, man. Number seven. Number seven for me. Uh, simple, man. Shine now. <laughs> <laughs> you like how I did that? I thought you said it's simple. <laughs> it was. No, man. That's how I meant to do it. That it's simple, re- man. Yep. It's a really good. Just outside just outside my list. It's on the big list right over Ironically, here, one of the few rock bands I've gone to a concert for. And let me tell you, um, when I first heard. All right. So Shinedown, when they first came <laughs> out, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe a lot of people kind of thought they were like the next Nickelback. Can I can I get a hallelujah for that one? Absolutely not, because I always thought they were supremely more talented. Oh, I agree. I I'll agree. agree with Ed on his way out. They were the next Bon Jovi. They they should have been the next big thing. I can go with that. I can go with that. But the problem was is they kept kind of getting casted as the next Nickelback. Well, and what, that, are the, what are the two songs I, I cling to with Shine? I was uh, looking down the barrel of forty five. I and, love that uh, song. Diamond Eyes. Diamond Eyes is a great song. I, I, I um, hear those songs and I'm like, that's anthemic. That that's something you can go to a concert and your fists are in the air and you're singing along. But they just, whatever reason, shine down. They just needed didn't an connect. anthem. They needed an anthem. Yeah. And Simple Man was that. Simple Man. Yeah, when I hear that song, you're right. And it, it invokes an emotion. And not only that, the like, hairs on your thank arms. you. Yeah, exactly. Like when you hear Leonard Skinner do it, it's a great song. It's a great fucking song. You can't beat that but passion. Then, that may, that may have been a bad choice for them. Maybe. Because when 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 you hear Skinner do it, and it's uh Ronnie, not Do- Johnny. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. They're both interchangeable. Right. One's dead. One's alive. Whatever. I'm not picking on Skinner, but when you hear the Van Zant brother sing that, and the hairs on your arms stand straight up, and then when you hear Shine Down, they kind of stand up because you're feeling that emotion. It might have been a poor choice for them, but he's got that voice. It oh, just, that's it translated. See, that's what I loved about it. I don't know. Um, with Shine Down, uh, tell my. Uh, I always forget about the the name of the song. Uh, sometimes, second chance. Uh, yes. The uh, sometimes love is a second chance. Well, right. Blah. You know how he hits that. Tell my mother. Tell my father. I yep. I couldn't dream to hit that fucking lyric. But no, never. When he does. The same exact thing for Simple Man. He does the same exact thing. Simple, like, gets that high point, but it's, but it, it's so low, but it's high. And right. It, it's it's crazy how he does it, and I really believe he does a way better job than Leonard Skinner does, and that's okay. that's one of my better. When, when I saw them live, he did a he was kind of goofing around with his guitarist, and he's like, he started doing, um, I think it was Wanted Dead or Alive. <laughs> From Bon Jovi. When I heard that, I'm just like, yeah, these I'll guys, buy this. These guys yeah. should be the next Bon Jovi. Is I'll what buy I that, like, man. I never really heard him till then. A friend of mine was like, I got tickets oh, I like to Shine, Shine Down. Down. I don't want to like go em. alone. And so we went there, Hartford Civic Center or whatever. Yeah, I you had a good remember. time, uh, though, didn't you? It wasn't a bad show. Yeah. I was worried it was going to be some grungy sounding shit, and it really wasn't. No. It was tolerable. They, 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 the new crop, 2000 on, has really done well to move away from the depressed bullshittery of the flannel wearing grunge movement and bring rock and roll back to where it should be, which is fun and exciting. 
You know what? I, I want 30 seconds to read the ones that didn't make any list. But moving on to number seven on my list, uh, I hate Bob Dylan. Let's put it that way. But if anybody can make Bob Dylan sound good, it's Jimi fucking Hendrix. All Along the Watchtower is number seven that on was, my list. That was an honorable mention. Really? That's my, that's my number one. Wow. wow. Really? I'd love to hear all your, your explanations, but um, I think Jimmy could do the phone book and it would sound awesome. That's it. You know what? My, the the reason he's an honorable mention, he's not on the list for the same reason that kid didn't make the uh, fucking sports team. There's just people better. Okay, I'll buy it. Not then, Jimmy. It's it's our favorites. It's this isn't battling <laughs> because he'd lose with Jimmy. He'd lose, but well, no, 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 not favorites necessarily. Favorites. Because because when guitarist... I get to number one, when I get to number one, we'll have a yeah, conversation. Right, we'll talk about it. No, okay, yeah, no, okay. Good. We got good. some big surprises coming up. I think this will be good. Moving right along. Number seven on your list, Ed. Number seven uh, is both my favorite. I think it's better. It's also a guilty pleasure, and I'm biased, and Mike will probably agree with me. It's Samantha Fox, I Only Want to Be With You. <laughs> oh, my God. Dusty Springfield I Jones. Yes. Bring it. Yes. I don't know. It's a fun track on. Na, na, it, was a, na, 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 it just comes na, out of nowhere. Na, na, na. Right? <laughs> yes. Here's this really chick does. that sings about her boobs and her crotch all the time. Actually, and it's she on, does I want to yeah. have some fun. Yes. This album, this is a very sexy album, whatever. And then no. this song just comes out of nowhere. I I, I'll never forget because yeah we we we, we talked about it two weeks ago about joining BMG Music and getting yeah. all these oh, fucking God, free yeah. music. Well, we ordered it the same day, so we got it the same day. I'll never forget. I grabbed my package and I literally ran right down to Ed's house, and we're like just and, playing CDs, and all we were playing day. CDs and playing fucking Nintendo. And one of the ones that he grabbed was the fucking Samantha Fox one, and we're like, dun, 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 and we're, we're going through this, and all of a sudden this song comes on, and we're like. We're looking at each other. Are uh, we listening to our mom's music? What we're the... like, what? What's going on here? And it, all of a sudden, it's, it, it's so out but, of place. On but the then album. You're, you start doing one yeah. of these numbers, and you're like, the, dude, am I bobbing my head? The I'm best my thing head about right about that song <laughs> and a lot of these songs that we're all talking about is it stands the test of time. Yes. You can listen to it now, thirty years later. It still sounds I, fresh. It still sounds exciting. I, I actually like, uh, and I think we did like a top five of like albums you can listen all the way through. And you and said it was Samantha that, Fox. I want to have some them. fun. Is so now Mike can listen from beginning to end, and every song is gold. His right. was the Queen's Right Collection. Mine, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Collections don't count. Mine crime, motherfucker. Go like, ahead. No, it wasn't. No. No, we're I'm I'm fucking with you. Number six, sir. Number six for me, uh, has gotta be Landslide, Smashing Pumpkins. Ooh. I love the original by Fleetwood Mac. I do. Thank you for not picking the Dixie fucking chicks. I appreciate <laughs> oh, fuck that. that. No bullshit, man. Thank you. Smashing Pumpkins did it way better, man. Um, what a great song. And, and you know what's funny is Stevie Nicks actually said that she went and watched him perform this song and she fell in love with him oh, yeah. singing this song. And they actually developed an incredible friendship. And then she turned around and said, this is the reason why I write songs like this. I want my poetry to connect to other people. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you guys have never gotten a chance to actually hear Smash and Pumpkin sing Landslide, do yourself a favor. Go do it before you go to bed tonight. Yes. Trust me. Trust me, it's it's not what you're used to. It is not. And if you know Smash Smashing Pumpkins, then yeah, it might be what you're used to. But if you think you're gonna hear something straight out of you know Stevie Nicks, no, you're not. You're gonna hear a different version of the song. But he puts his heart into it. Trust me when I tell Billy you. Billy Corgan doesn't fuck around. No, he, I'm gonna give him a lot. He of doesn't. I, and I've call. actually I've actually had this conversation with Janelle where it's like Stevie Nicks has a certain unique sound. And not many people can emulate no, it. Because no. it's a running inside joke with us that karaoke was like, do Stevie. She's like, I can't do Stevie. Yeah. Wait, no. you know, nobody can, no. nobody can nobody do Stevie. Can do Stevie but, like Billy, <laughs> but like Billy Corgan proves with this song, you don't have to emulate it. You just have to kind Thank of you. take it. Take it to your around own. A little bit, take it for your own. Mold it like clay and make it your own. Like you because just said. even she said that. I Speaking loved how he did that. Of it was beautiful. It your own. Hang on, comment, yeah. comment from the audience, real quick. BMG is still chasing my neighbor <laughs> for the Who money. Who said this? Uh, Stephen Waddick. Waddick. Stephen. BMG? Are we saying your last name right, Stephen? BMG is still chasing my neighbor for the money for albums that never made it to their doorstep. BMG is not yeah. even in business. No, no, no. <laughs> no, but they, they have a they collection out. company that's going to keep hounding they you out. until you're 95 fucking years old. Yeah, don't pay him, bro. Right. All right. Uh, number six on my list. Um, I know Ed's going to, his nuts are going to crinkle a little bit, but this song came on my radar about nine months ago, and it's on my heavy rotation. 
in my car when I'm driving. Originally done by the Notorious B.I.G. It's Living Color, last year's cover of Who Shot Ya. To hear them meddle it up, and they don't change the lyrics, of course. No. We, we talked about Living Color being a band, not a black band, and taking B.I.G. and then taking those lyrics and, and just crunching it. And that's what I'm going to say. It's not meddling cover. it up. They crunch it. It makes it so if you're not a rap fan and you're a metal fan, you can enjoy it. If you're a rap fan and not a metal fan, you can enjoy it. Just probably the most out of left field cover I've heard in about a bazillion years. But that's why it's number six. That's a good one, actually. Thank yeah. you. I'm actually ashamed I forgot about it. Well, but, that's yeah. why I'm me and you're you. Exactly. So where are we at? Number number six? Yes. All right, here yeah. here is a sacred cow I'm smashing. Um, I chose Patti LaBelle's Eleanor Rigby over the Beatles. Wow. I think Patti LaBelle nails the song so much better. It's got soul. It's funky. I think Eleanor Rigby by the Beatles is goofy. And I'm not a huge fan of that Yellow Submarine era as it is. But she just takes this song. And I'm, she, not, she, I'm not a big Beatles fan. And and I know a lot of people because I'm a John Lennon fan. Mm-hmm. They they don't buy that. But no, I'm I'm not a big Beatles fan. Period. I, I'm, a, I'm a good Beatles fan, <clears throat> but that the Yellow Submarine stuff I thought was a little Campy? I think beneath them. Yeah, you mean, you mean the I'm the Walrus. They went the monkeys yes. route. I'm, yes. Matter matter of fact, this is not I'm, the first time the Beatles will be mentioned <laughs> on my list. Oh lord! But yeah, no, Patty Labelle, God rest her soul, rest in no, peace. No, absolutely. Um, she took a, she took a very. Like, I encourage you all to listen to her version of Good it. Choice. She took a goofy song, and when she does it, it's just it, oh man, you just you feel it. Whereas the Beatles one, you're like, okay, T crumpets out of here. Nice, good job. Living color at at, at uh, Epcot, Disney Week before last. That's uh, Stephen Waddick. They were at Epcot the week before last? Um, well, shit, somebody could have told me I'd have drove my ass down there. Yeah, he said, it. funny thing, saw Living Living Color at oh, Epcot and Disney. Oh, you saw Living Color. Week before last, yeah. Oh, fantastic, Stephen. I hope yep. you enjoyed it. He also says it's Wad as in water. or Waddick. Doc w- as in, well, Doc. W- Waddock. 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 And Jay says she can do some Stephen X. Waddock, Doc. Just not Can I do all. Why don't we just call him Stephen? Because I can't do this figure out Stevie the last D. name bullshit. Let's just call Stevie him w. Dr. Stevie Boombots. Dr. Stevie. Dr. Stevie W. Steve on the dock. We got it. Steve. All right. <laughs> the so, all right. Number five. So now we're back to where we were originally with five because when we first I thought originally. I, said, I thought we said top ten. And I thought it was five. Me that's okay. That's okay. That was, Look, that I got me. plenty it's here if you want to add more. Because I encourage five. Because exactly, oh, it is your so. fives. So here we go. Well, we got uh, a lot of time going. So no, number five. Um, y'all know obviously I love Imagine by John Lennon. Mm-hmm. We got the goddamn tattoo on the back of my neck for crying out loud. Um, have you ever heard the version from Perfect Circle? Oh yes, I have. That Not is my imagine. number five. Um, Mater was... Jesus Keenan. Thank you. If you thank you. If you want to take a song and cover it and completely flip the meaning of the song, Perfect Circle does that Look, to Ma- imagine. Maynard Keenan. I have a friend who's a huge Tool fan. I'm going to share this episode with him. I'm going to thank time... you for fucking saying that. I'm gonna... Everybody doesn't realize that a Perfect Circle is exactly that. They're fucking Tool. They, Basically. They are... I'm going to timestamp it to where you pick this, and I'm going to say what I said to him years ago when he said, I'm going to see Tool, and I his name is Maynard James Keenan. Yes. And I said, oh, you're going to see Jesus. What do you mean Jesus? Jesus? I'm like, in the rock world, he's known as Maynard Jesus Keenan. There's nothing he can't do. There's He could take you know, the Chinese food menu from your local restaurant and sing it, and it's going to sound <laughs> fucking sound incredible. Awesome, yeah. And he's going to produce it so it sounds so ethereal, like a Schism by Tool, which is so hypnotic. He's going to make it that much fucking better. You are absolutely right, my friend. Now, uh, if you, like, once again, get a chance, do yourself a favor, listen to Imagine by Perfect Circle. I'll have to look it up. I've never heard it. And it is, and, and when I tell You're you, have a good time. when I tell you it's the opposite of Imagine, it is. If you can take a cover and make it the complete opposite of what that song. Imagine it's supposed to be about hope. 
If you listen to Perfect Circle's version of Imagine, the way it they sounds do it. it sounds like end of days. Yeah. Doesn't it sounds like the end of fucking days, man. I'm not even joking. There's with you. nothing Maynard Keenan can't do. I, I agree. I agree. And good, All right. good good on you for fucking bring up I'm the I'm the Ayatollah reference. of rock and roll, Thank the motherfucker. You. I a lot know of people all don't about get it. that though, man. A lot of people okay, are like, Mario you know, Van Peoples, chill. And maybe well, and maybe Mario it's because Tool was so popular that Perfect Circle never just got a chance. What about Pucifer? He does that band too. Thank you. Yeah, you yeah you're right. You're right. Beat me if you can. Survive <laughs> if I let you, motherfuckers. Number five for me. How do you make a 14-year-old kid in the 80s care about the Beach Boys? You tell David Lee Roth to cover one of their songs. Very Number true. five, David Lee Roth, California Girls. Not just the song, because I heard the song first. Then you see the video. Then you see the fun. It, it really is a good song. And it's made me appreciate the Beach Boys more going same, forward. Same with fucking Pretty Woman. You know what I'm saying? Same. It's, it's he Pretty just, Woman didn't even make any of the big list, the little list. No, I hear you. Whatever. But, but it's the same idea. You know, he, he just he just make adds that fun. flair, that 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 tits and ass and even though he's bikinis. not even though he's not the heavyweight champion of Van Halen, which we decided on this show in your absence with me and Lynch. No, on I, the great I, Van I, Halen I did them. I did the picture for it. Yep. I, I actually. Um, those of you who don't believe me, go back and listen to the episode. Um, David Lee Roth can make anything fun. Um, David Lee Roth could probably sing the Bible and make it fun. Um, I just love this song. It made me care about the Beach Boys. And then about two years later, not on my list at all, was um, the Fat Boys doing uh, Wipeout with the Beach Boys. Yes, yes. Made me care about the Beach Boys <laughs> yes. again. And then the Beach Boys come out with John fucking Stamos and do Kokomo and make me want to murder them one by one in front of their families. But that's a different story for a different time. Right, but that's right. my number five. Ed, it's on you. I think Ed just found the song. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can pretty much skip mine because mine agreed with uh, one of Chris's, no, which is hear your... Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You. I love that song. Um, I love I, that fucking oh, song, man. I, I love the Dolly Parton version. I love nah, Dolly Parton. I love Whitney's. But Whitney's version, as I said it's earlier, eerie, makes it an anthem. Haunting. She just. Yeah, I dude, when when like I've I've heard that song sang so many times in karaoke and very few people can actually pull it off. Very, very, very few people can pull it off. There's the last part of that where I don't think people realize she's singing for like three fucking straight minutes when she's like. I'll always, I'll always, I'll love you. That's three fucking minutes long that she holds that fucking breath for people. Like, literally. Like, it's insane. It's insane. No, that, you. It, it, uh, fuck you, Bobby Brown, for taking away <laughs> fucking what. We had so much more music that she could have given us. I'm sorry, man. I'm I, sorry. The word on the street is she was just as bad as Bobby. I she bet. Was no, I know. Better. I know. I but <laughs> that's neither here nor there. That's neither here nor there. But um, like I was saying to him, there's very few times where, you know, uh, a song sells a whole movie. And that song sold the whole movie. No, it's it did. the only reason that movie was popular. No, you're right. It's a <laughs> mediocre film, in my <laughs> opinion. The fucking movie is terrible. It's like, it's like Armageddon and uh, Aerosmith. Oh, it, the longest Aerosmith video ever is Armageddon. Yeah. So, like I said, it's a song that sells a movie, not a movie that sells a song. And it, like uh, our, I don't think you heard when uh, when he was down here. If Dolly Parton and Whitney Houston ever got on stage and sang the song together, the fucking roof would explode. Mm -hmm. it'd be oh, it'd be done. She wrote the greatest love song, and Whitney Houston turned it into an anthem. Oh, absolutely, I and agree. I everybody agree. knows the song. While yeah. I was listening to that voicemail out in the other room, and we'll talk about this when we get off the air because it's probably very fucking important to the show in the future. Um, I agree with everything both of you had to say, except for fuck you, Bobby Brown, because when Bobby got clean, Whitney continued on the cocaine train, and look where she is. Oh, you can't. Well, it's she's just buried. She's buried, but you know, just Bobby. Bobby has a higher tolerance. I got you. I got you. Here, All right. Here's the thing: like negativity attracts negativity. I don't think Whitney Houston was squeaky clean when she. Nor met do Bobby. I. God, no. She wants to dance with somebody with no. cocaine. I'm. I'm betting no. it happened way back when. Fuck yeah. And she was richer than him when they got together, so mm -hmm. you know she partied. She paid the bills. Yep. All right, so on you, to number you, four. You go ahead and listen to that Imagine version right now. I'm trying to. I'm <laughs> trying to get to my beats, yo. Here, just throw these in, dipshit. All right, so uh, yeah, because he's he's gonna love that. I'm telling you right now. I don't have I a love jack. That oh well, you're fucking fired. Oh, fuck it. Listen to it later. Love that song though. All right, my number, number four. four has got to go now. 
most of my most of my covers right now stay within genres, mm -hmm. as I like to say. Um, All right. This one, however, completely jumped over from country right into fucking not just rock, but hard rock of all people. All that remains did a cover of Thunder Rolls. Yes. And let me tell you. Oh, my Lord. If it's not better. And I love Garth Brooks. I fucking love Garth Brooks. That fucking when he did the third version of the third verse of that song mm. about him getting his fucking brains blown out. Yep. Everybody knows that fucking shit. There's no better song than Thunder Rolls. And then all that remains gets a hold of that fucking bitch. And dude, God, fucking all that remains. You guys, you can fucking shit on a biscuit and sell it and I'll buy it. Hey, let's throw out that Garth Brooks is probably like the only country star that had his video banned from Nashville television. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It was like it shows domestic violence. Yeah. And now it's like you watch music videos now and they're like straight up fucking in. Oh yeah. yeah in, when there when there's a song in the his video was banned in like 92 93 and 4 years later here comes Orgy with Smack My Bitch Up. Yeah. Love yeah. it. I, I swear to God, I, at one point I was like, Garth Brooks and Ice T should form a band. That would be that right. would, oh, I hope oh, band. I'd right. Probably, what do you got for number four, all bro? Right, um, it's a band probably not a lot of you have heard of, but you've all heard of Chris Isaac, who did Wicked Game, but H I M, his Infernal Majesty, made it better. H I M Wicked Game is number four. Um the lead singer Villy song, has man, a man. fantastic haunting voice. Chris Isaac had that syrupy Late 80s, I'm going to sing every ballad, not so much Michael Bolton style, but I'm going to make your heartstrings go la la la. But that was the only song, I'm sorry, like that I remember from Chris Isaac. What else has he got? He's had like two others, but nobody remembers him. Exactly. Except, except that's what Chris I'm saying. Isaac that's, and his mama. That's it. That's the only song I remember him by. And and I do remember the version you're talking about because it is. It actually... I did it at karaoke one night and it came up and somebody's like, oh, this is going to. This is going to be boring. And then they heard the guitars. And I heard that guy out of the corner of my ear go, okay, you have my attention. Yeah. Like, exactly. all right, exactly. bring it on. Exactly. It, it was because they, they took, rocked it out. Exactly. They took a mundane song and they added just a little bit of zip flavor and happiness to Enough. it. Enough. Yes. And it was just they took elevator music and made it rock. Rock, motherfucker. Eddie, number four. Number four, I picked. Um. This is this almost went higher on my list. This one is without question because this is an underrated R and B group in the nineties. It was like the tail end of the nineties where R and B went from being kind of sexy and to ignorant, in my opinion. Yeah. You know, and uh, these guys were a combination of New Edition, Boys to Men, and all those great R and B groups put together. Uh, great vocalist, great harmony, great everything. Well, they did a cover of a Sacred Cow uh, called. Hard to say I'm sorry. The group is as yet. Yes. They covered um it was a cover that was so fucking good when the remix was coming out. Peter Cetera said, slap my fucking vocals on it, and he pops up in the very last chorus where mm -hmm. he's like, uh, That's Hard awesome. And if here's the thing, I, I decide I listened to the song. I remember again. this song. I listened to the song again before I came here because I wanted to rehear it. You gotta hear it with fucking headphones. Dude, Peter Cetera, you his voice is unmistakable yeah. mm -hmm. oh, unmistakable yeah. like if this motherfucker wants to say if peter satara walks into a bar that i'm fucking djing and like i want to take over the rest of the night i yeah. give him my equipment not only do i give him the rest Make him of my sing equipment Uncle Tom's cabin. That's i all suck his dick right Whoa, there hello. because that's peter fucking satara all right <laughs> Here's Bam! The, here's, here's the thing. <laughs> and you folks at home, like seriously, look up this song. Listen to the remix. Yes, the original Peter one. Cetera, he's not on it, dude. The original one. He's not on it, but on the remix, you listen to that song. Because I remember the first time I heard it, I was like, I, I can't remember. I was like twenty something. Fucking and Karate I'm like Kid Two. Bed. How many times you get laid from Karate Kid Two's fucking theme music? Look, can I, I be I honest? Was, with I you? was an over the air DJ when that song came out. You know what? I'm just gonna give you this dollar. You earned it. And give it back to my. He's just giving my fucking dollar away, man. My <laughs> I got my the dollar. my dollar, my coffee. <laughs> no, that's gonna be our new shtick right here on the Logan Jabroni well, show. I first heard the song. It was on the radio. I'm listening, and I'm just like, God, this is a really good fucking cover. I'm like, I feel like fucking Peter Cetera should just fucking come out and rip one. 
and he fucking comes out and rips one. Nice. And I'm like, I'm like, God damn. And he's, it's only like two lines that he sings, but it becomes, it's so haunting that it sends chills up mm-hmm. your spine. And um, I'm serious. One of the most underrated groups that ever came out. Either I'll bad management, bad production. They should have done so much better than they did. But number four, as yet, featuring Peter Cetera. Because uh, I, I like worked, hard to because say, I sorry. worked in the industry at the time, and I I remember saying this to my DJ Pe- buddy. These guys are Peter Cetera be... and Amy Grant. Right. Oh. oh, that was a great song. It, I lo- that was in my best. Uh, that Dude. was our best. Yes, duets. it was best yeah. duets. I thought as yet should be bigger than they ended up being. So talented. All right, leading so on to talented. me, number three. Number three for me, <clears throat> no question. Originally done by Mountain, done better by my man Zach Wilde. Mississippi Queen. Zach Wilde does not make my list, but he makes yours. Ah, oh, fuck yeah, dude! Oh Come on. my god, Mississippi Queen is probably one That's of my the favorite back. fucking songs no, ever. You know what? Here, let me, I'll give you my no, debit no, got, card. I, fuck this. Got, here we go. We good. We How good. does Zach Wilde look? And he's on. You need my pin? He's he's on my big list. He was on the outside, but for a different song, and we'll go over that when I give you the quick hits. Oh, we're 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 fuck. I just wow! Now that I think about it, you're right. Oh wow, he. It's decided. the best, dude. That's the fucking best. When... Other than Dimebag, that's like if Dimebag's God, Zach's Jesus, and 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 yes, he is. Roger, yes, if he he's is. watching, is gonna and, and can kill I, me. And and bottom line is Mississippi Queen cover by Zach Wild was fucking. Do yourself a favor and go listen to that. And shit when right you're now. done with that, go find Zach Wild doing the national anthem live in an NHL yeah, game. Yeah, yes, yes. Oh, yes. melting faces. Yeah, I'm having enough time getting. Yeah. Tough time getting a match. What do you got, up, man? So. Number three. All right, uh, number three. Originally by Argent, it was a little more flowery. Uh, another band took it, reworked some of the lyrics. You wanted the best. You got the best. It's Kiss. God gave rock and roll to you, and if you don't like that song, just you're not on my level. Not I, even close. I did, that's I don't one hate of it. that is one it of gets my a lot of flack, but I don't look. Hate that it. is one of my songs that I have to admit I didn't know was a cover. Neither did I until I read it in a magazine. I went out actively because that's me. I'm a music freak. I wanted to hear the original. I went out special ordered the CD from Mystic Disc right here in Mystic, Connecticut. Still alive, still kicking. And I took the Argent disc home and I listened to it. And it was like, eat bananas, don't step on snails. Love your neighbor and all this bullshit. But then when you hear Gene and Paul do it, it's like, if you want to be a singer or play guitar, work real hard, go out and kick ass. It's it's a cover, but they reworked some of the lyrics. Right. And it's still a cover. And it's good enough. This almost was my number one, but the two ahead of it, I think you guys will both I, agree with. I gotta defend that song because that song gets a lot of shit, and I don't know why. Of course, it's I don't know either, song. man. No, I think it's great. You know, there's, man. A couple, I, there's a couple. Look, reasons. it's hokey. Uh, was it? Wayne's it's World? hokey. Bill and no, Ted's Bill, Bill, yes, Journey. Bill yes, Ted's. yes, bogus. I think that's part of it. Bogus and Journey. Ma- not no excellent. I think, not that's why, I think that's why it gets a lot of but shit. But the video is interspersed with makeup years. And even now, to this day, if you go see Kiss, they played it on a couple tours. But as you're leaving, you know, the bombs have gone off. They played rock and roll all night for the 34,800 and whatever time. I'd much rather hear this song. The lights fucking... go down. But wait a minute. The lights go down. The lights come up. And all the video screens are playing like, uh, what do you call it? historical pictures and whatnot. And there's Eric Carr and there's Mark St. John. There's Vinnie Vincent. There'll be no talk of Vinnie Vincent. And they're playing that song as you're leaving, as if saying, you know what? You just came here. You had an experience. God gave rock and roll to you. Get in your cars and have a good night. To me, more important than hearing rock and roll. Oh my God. That's a chill song to listen to. Cause you're, you're, you're vibing on the way. God gave rock and roll. And as you're walking you. out, it's just a really and, yeah. cool and song. Here's the thing, too. I think, and and maybe I'm maybe I'm getting way too deep, or I'm reaching. But I think it was also around that period too, where people, I think the grunge thing was starting to creep in. I'll buy people it. People were jaded, and they didn't want to hear that God gave me rock and roll. Fuck that. No rebellion, anger, death. Ah, I love abortion. You know that <clears throat> shit was coming in. That's and, what I think. And. So that song kind of got pushed to the side. Yeah. Like, what are these fucking old guys talking about rock and roll? God, they're so lame. Should have been. It should have been a bigger hit than it was. Yeah, you know. All what? right, fuck you if you don't like that song. Did Eddie just defend Kiss? I thought I was having. I think a, so. I thought I was having a stroke earlier. No, I now d- I think I'm having my second heart attack. I defended Kiss with no makeup. 
Oh, okay. Very, same. very different. Same, same. It's all, it's all kiss. Number two, Ed. Uh, number three, Ed. Okay. Full disclosure before I say number three. Why did when he says that it scares me? I, I just want to put out there that it killed me to put this on here, but and it's not necessarily that I like the singer or that, but I I know that this cover is so much better than the original, and I know the song is so much bigger than than I want it to be, but it deserves to be on the list. Uh, Fuji's "Killing Me Softly." You know what? No, you're right. It, no, no, no. You're right. No, he and yeah. and you. Everything he no, said look, was right. But look, you're right, and you're right. You're right in every aspect because yeah, when he said when was she right. she fucking oh my god oh my god the, the is she group. a no look but look Lauren, you go ahead but you please. and your uh, the reason why we uh is because man. It's true, <laughs> man. It's like, not not just is it true, but if you could pick one fucking song that every fucking woman thinks that they can fucking sing yeah. in karaoke, it's killing me softly. And there's only a very small handful of fucking women that can actually sing that fucking song. It, and that's what leads me back to you and your point. The fact that she decided to pull this song off. Now, a well, keep my. This is the food. You, it's all of right, them, so. right, 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 right. Wyclef yeah, and right. And but come on, come on. No, no, no. it's her vocals that right. kill it. Exactly, it's her vocals that kill it. Yeah. You're absolutely fucking she mur- right. She kills it. She it's, she owns murders. it. Yeah. She murders the song so not in a bad way. Bad. Oh, okay, no, I, I was gonna stop yeah. you, but you're right. She she murders she, it she in a good way. She murders the original. So, like right. she takes it. And owns it, it out, and this is my and song rewrites now. it. She Boom. rewrote that. Like most people think that she really did the original. Like most people right, right, right. think and that. that. And like, that's that's the sign that's, of a good cover. No, that's the sign and, and, that you destroyed and I that make, cover. I, I make this argument to people all the time. Like because I I'll say this song. It's like I don't like Lauren Hill, and but you can't deny this. Bra- this song. You know what? Her cover of is iconic. Bravo for you to actually. I mean, I was thinking the same thing, but I just because I've heard it so much well, this, from karaoke and everything else, was, I just couldn't put it on my. Fucking this was list. the deciding factor for me, and you, anyone can ask this if you've ever been anywhere and that song comes on. If during the song you find yourself going one time, time one time, I hate that shit. <laughs> two oh. times. If you do that, you cannot argue with me. Of, I'm, I'm buying the, it the of whole how way. big this song is right. and how iconic and impactful it is. Right. So unfortunately, number three, not unfortunate. They nailed it out. Of no, the no you're they right. Did. Number three, no, Fuji's did. killing me softly. You can't take it away. I'm they buying did. your argument all the way, even though it drives me nuts with that one time, 38 times, whatever. That, that... But you find yourself doing it. That's the problem. Oh, without question. If I hear it on the elevator music, the original version, and I'm in the grocery store. Oh, my God. Why Clef just sneaks in? One time. I'm like, one time, one time, one time. I'm I'm there. I got you. Uh, Good call. Like I said, man. Much as I want to punch you. You got to do it. You got to do it. No, no. And I agree with you. I didn't put it on my list because. Same. Just fuck you. But you're (laughs) absolutely. But you're absolutely right. She. You know what? It's it's to the let me let me be so bold as to say she shouldn't even be on the list anymore because that's not a cover because she fucking owns that song now, like right. but the Fugees. Is, but it's still a cover. No, it is still a cover, but like if you really like think about it, they own. Like that I said, shit. I put covers on here that I think <coughs> smash the um, original, with right. the exception of my the number two. Out. Number two to Mike. Man, I've been blowing this th- these guys up since they came out with this cover. I love these guys. They are great without this cover, but them doing this cover makes it even better. And then we learn that, of course, you know, Dolores got decided to fucking drown herself so she can't fucking be here. Mm. But whatever. Number two is going to go zombie bad wolves. Because my God, did they fucking drill that song? And I still... In a perfect world, and I will say this, in a perfect world, she sings this song with Bad Wolves. And it is eerie. Mm-hmm. And it is more than eerie. It's perfect. And when they sing it, 
it bring, it brings upon the apocalypse and the end of the days and the end of the world. And that's why she drowned in a pool. Because if these guys sang this song together, <laughs> we would have been dealing with the end of days. Well, all right then. Number two. Number Three two. You, uh, uh, anybody who's listened to this show more than twice knows that all of us here, especially myself, big Prince fans. Nobody can touch Prince, we say, until Dave Grohl rears his ugly head and there's nothing Dave Grohl can't do. Right much there, like Maynard man. Jesus Keenan, yep. Darling Nikki by the Foo Fighters. With, I've never with heard it. who was singing with him. Oh, I can't remember. Come on, little black dude. Fuck, I can't remember. Come on, CC. Um, um, oh, I can't remember his name now. He used to be on the fucking voice. What's the name of the song again? Darling Nikki. Darling Nikki. Darling Nikki. Um, uh, fuck, what the you, fuck is his give, name? Can you give the people like just a little taste of it? You kneel round, round, round with the girl I found. Oh, CeeLo Green. Thank you. CeeLo Green was the man that sang with them. If you've never heard, and you know no, what? I they should have made no, my list it, with CeeLo Green doing Africa, but. Just doesn't have enough stroke great, right now. Didn't dude. he not nail? You know who else does a great cover of Africa? Weezer. Fucking yes. See, this is why we work together, yes. and fucking, you don't work with us. Fucking yes. Uh, looks like uh, CeeLo Green only did a live show with him. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Same. Same. He came oh, out. No, yeah, he did the thing. Shut your mouth. No, I just did. I shut thought your, he was on the album. Mouth. You want to hush now? CeeLo Green, shut your mouth. Seriously. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> fuck you. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, get the wild thousand dollars. I'll do it. All right, but um, if you can cover a Prince song, and many people have, and I'm like, oh, Sinead, sit down, or oh, yeah. this one, sit down. The Foo Fighters did, Darling Nikki, he and I wrote stood that up and song, took gave notice. it to her, and then went back and sang it after better. she did. Sang it better, yeah, pretty much. But I, I, still... I almost, you know, what's funny? I almost put that on there. Except so did I. That he originally wrote it for her. Yes, and so I was like. Ugh. That's what I said too. Is it really a cover if you wrote it for yourself? Yeah. Like I was questioning but that then again, myself. Manic dude. Monday, but you know I get it. Yeah, the whole thing. But Foo Fighters, Darling Nikki, no, fight me. Great, I don't give a fuck. Great, no, I, thank you. And thank like you. I said, CeeLo Green fucking showing up for that. And was that, that drilling video that, was amazing? Drilling that dude. As a matter, and it's funny because they actually said that Prince did um, when he did the 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 um the halftime show there, yep, and he did uh, one of the uh, Foo Fighters songs that it was a shot at them. No, because it was they a did tribute, it. and it, it was, was a, a tribute. Tip of the hat. Exactly, exactly, exactly. It was exactly. Uh, he he played uh he played the riff from uh, Christ? I can say it, Monkey Wrench. He played the riff to Monkey Wrench. Yep, yep, exactly. Yeah, that's your homework, darling. Nikki Foo Fighters, go out and look it up. What do you got for number two, man? Gonna be busy going home here. No, right. you do it when, do it all week. Number, you number week. two. Um, I'm sorry. This song is a staple at any party you have when you're with people of our generation or a little bit older. Any cookout or something like that, and everyone's like, "Hey, throw on some uh, something I can actually dance to." Um, <laughs> well, okay. you've kind of opened the door. So uh, I picked "Soft Cell," "Tainted Love." Nice. Bam, bam. And who did it originally, my man? Uh, we had this ar- we had this argument at work. Ding. Somebody said, "Oh well, uh, uh, Glor- Mar- Gloria Jones." Thank you, because we had this argument oh, at work. Oh damn! They said you should put Marilyn Manson doing "Tainted Love." I'm like, "Well, no, that's a cover of a cover." Yeah. What do you mean? I'm like, "Well, Soft Cell covered it. I can't remember the woman's name." They're like, "Oh, you're full of shit." <laughs> <laughs> Never fuck with the Ayatollah of rock and roller. Yeah. Uh. Dude, you had a big hit argument. Oh, I was. No, you remember the it. big hit? They're arguing about King Kong lives. I had that argument. No, no, you just had a big hit argument. Like in Lou Diamond Phillips and Mark Wahlberg are arguing about King Kong lives. And Lou Diamond Phillips is like, man, fuck you. That's like a sequel to a remake. No, I have no reference, but we're going ahead on Tainted Me. Love. The big hit. It's awesome. No, Dick yeah, yeah. Love is a fun song. It's a quintessential 80s song. Oh, my God. It's got to be at no, every is. party. Yeah. You know what sucks? No, no, because you, you go from everything else, and then you go, baby, baby, where it does doesn't even matter. love go? It's I mean, so- it's like you go tainted love to, to that. Here, watch, watch, just... watch, watch. Quiet the room. If your hands don't clap, you're wrong. Sometimes I feel I want to. Run away. Exactly. Everybody's hands go up. Everybody's feet are tapping. And, and I, I'm going to say this. Better than the original. The original Agreed. is nothing 1, like this song. Agreed. 1,000%. No. So I, 
That's right. my number two, and I'm sticking to it. And good call by you. And you know what? What strikes me as weird is that we've only had one repeat, and that was you and I. I knew. I no, had no, no. We had, we had two. What was the other one? Mine right now. Leading oh, into number right. one. Oh, yeah. All Along the Watchtower. That's right. By Mr. Jimi Hendrix. Oh, no, that's not a repeat. That's an honorable mention. No, it's number no, seven it's on my list. number seven on oh, him. Yeah, exactly. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Um, you produce this all, show, don't you? Charlotte first of Roval. All, I don't write the script. Didn't Charlotte even Roval. know that that was a cover until I started doing some homework about covers. And then this song came up and I was like, that's a fucking cover? And then I listened to the original. Do you know who did the original? Bob Dylan. Thank you. Fuck Bob Dylan. Did you actually listen to the original? Yes. All along the oh, road. I've been hearing my name. So the the weed. Yeah, said about her name. And then now, Tom Petty comes in. She's a good girl. Now listen yep. to Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> Stop. All I can think about right now. All I can think about right now is everybody. Got somebody? Could you put Tom Petty and Dylan in the same room? You got the traveling. You Wilburys. do have the traveling Wilburys. Fuck is, you, Eddie. Get terrible. out of my house. Now, actually, to get back to the point we started, the reason why I didn't really make my list is because yeah, Jimi Hendrix, obviously fucking gangster. Nobody's touching Jimi Hendrix. No, no, you're not. As a guitarist, well, vocalist, I can think of a couple, but yes, as a vocalist, Mediocre. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. But he didn't have to be much of a no, vocalist it was soul, because it was feel. Right, Back then, all you needed was fucking solid guitar. I mean, think about it. We actually believe that somebody like fucking Janis Joplin was a good lyricist. No. Well, no, but she was a lyricist. No, no. A good lyricist, bad singer. Ba- no, thank you. I'm going yeah, the other you. way. More, more of a metal singer. I'm going the other way. She was a fantastic singer, not the best lyricist. Bobby McGee can kiss a dick. I don't know. All day long. But that's why that's we a have these for another things. Show. Exactly. <laughs> why Bobby McGee can kiss a dick <laughs> and other arguments. My 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 whole rationale was it's <clears throat> obviously iconic song. Mm-hmm. Not going to take that away. Better than the original. Agreed. <sighs> Better than the original. Agreed. Go ahead. Are you, can you honestly even pull pull a lyric out of the original fucking Bob Dylan? And you know fucking all around the watch child by Jimi uh, Hendrix. The bad weed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that bad guy got to say the bad weed. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't. Fuck Bob Dylan. Fuck Gaspar Gomez. And fuck the fucking Diaz brothers. And, and can I just say, all along a watchtower was on the movie fucking Casino. Oh, and, and Casino, right. motherfucker. I'll, I'll yield it, Casino. Right? All right. Come on, man. That fucking scene with there. Coming in there, all getting out of the car. I was thinking Forrest Gump, but that scene in Casino. No, but exactly. Bad Come ass. on, that just deserved that song, man. All right. That Num- deserved that song. Number one on my list. Um, <laughs> I've never, ever in probably the eight or nine ACDC songs I've ever heard covered. Come, wait a minute. He just spit his shit out. That yingling just came in his mouth like Yeah, hard. right? You said. In the eight or nine ACDC songs I've ever heard covered, uh, if if there are nine, eight of them all suck. <laughs> one. And the whole world just saw that. Just one. <laughs> just one. That's how much I love ACDC. <laughs> not, only, not only owns it, but eclipses it. <laughs> Number one is Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. <laughs> yes. Dirty Deeds. Yes. If if you oh, can yeah. if you can put that video on when this show is over oh, and listen to that yeah. song and understand just how much she takes <laughs> that song, throws it in a blender, owns it, spits it out, and says, it. "This owns song is it. now mine, yeah. motherfucker." Owns it. Owns Number it. one, I, I, Joan I, Jett, Dirty Deeds. You know what? Before I die, this is on the bucket list. I really <laughs> wish. That Joan Jett, Lita Ford, and uh, what's her name? Cherry, Cherry Curry. Cherry Curry make up and just do one fuck. Oh. Not even now, just do an EP. No, do an just EP. do one show, Madison Square Garden, no, pay per view t- gimmick. T- Cherry we could, bomb. we could all sit upstairs no, and watch it on the. I want and, something new. But they can throw. They can look here. You got yeah, Cherry, you got Lita, you got Joan. They do. 
the Runaways bit, and then Lita comes out and does uh, Kiss Me Deadly, and then Joan comes out and does no, uh, I, want, I Hate Myself. Fuck that. I want some Runaway shit. That's, and that's what some I'm saying. New and runaway the, shit. In the, oh, you want new shit? Yeah, I don't care about them redoing the hits. I, All can, right. I can listen to a CD. But... You're the producer. I reached out to Brian Pillman Jr. for a future episode here on the Logan Jabroni Show, which was the voicemail I was just listening to. Now, all right. you all I'm know all it. over Lita Ford. Now, you go for Lita. You go for Joan. I'm all over Lita. I'll go after Cherry. We're going to make this happen, Here's and the, we're going to be front row fucking center. Cherry still talks to Joan, still talks to Lita. Lita and Joan will not fucking be in the same and room. And this can happen. If we the can make fans talk. want it and the we money's right, they're going to do the it. You don't think anybody thought this when the movie came out? The oh, so did I. I, I thought, show I thought this could be the biggest happen. tour. They still wouldn't be in the same room with each other. We can I, make thought, this I thought it would be the biggest tour ever if the runner we race came out right after that movie. Oh, boy. He's going on Twitter. He's going to harass Lita. No, don't. Because we now, <laughs> we now have to go to Ed's number one. Come and then on. we have some honorable mentions to throw out. Number one is... I'm so excited for this. Kanye. No. Um, Fuck. No. Uh, another Sacred Cow being smashed, but I don't think anyone could argue that this song is so much better. I like the original. I don't have a problem with it, but this version <clears throat> is so, so much better and iconic and thematic, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Joe Cocker with a little help from my Oh, friends. my God. Yeah. I got to cross it off the big list. Hold my on. Friends. Crossing it yeah. off the big list. Now, don't get me wrong. I love it when Ringo sings. He's, I, I think he's fun. He's got a certain quirkiness to his voice that everybody loves. But Joe Cocker heard that song, and he turned it into something so much bigger and beyond the Wonder Years and all that. But, Joe but it Co- brought it back into the spotlight. Look, yeah. Joe Cocker is bigger than what he ever was. Oh, I yeah. mean, h- half the songs that he does, come on, man. I mean, that, I- that, that song right there, I mean, in... Got what five other fucking and big props to uh, the late John Belushi for fucking nailing, oh yeah nailing the Joe Cocker <laughs> impression on Saturday Night Live. But I'm sorry, yeah, I, you can't have a list like this without that song. And True. The more I thought about it, it's off the big list. It's number one. All right, good call. Number one with a bullet. Nice. So, do you have any honorable mentions at all? Did you come up with any while we were talking? I have a couple. I know you have a couple. I have five, and then I have the. This is what I like to call the quick hits of what didn't make the list. Argue, uh, talk amongst yourselves, whatever. You have any honorable mentions? Man? Um, yeah, actually. Okay, um, hold on, hold on. He's. Uh, we're holding on. I do. Uh, because I I had it. Um, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh-huh. We're we're holding on. Hold on. The world is waiting. Seventy-five countries are waiting to ban us because you can't do your job right. No, I really can't. I, <laughs> I only have one. I only have one. Okay, that's fine. I have five honorable mentions, no. and then I have the list of shit that didn't make it from my list of eight thousand four hundred twelve. No, um, yeah, I have four. So okay, mine, mine going back to. Uh, I mean, originally it's just. Uh, I got to go with Van Halen. Um, Pretty Woman. Okay, and fucking, just like you said before. Uh, uh. Uh, California, making uh, it fun. Yeah, I mean, any, any of the ones that they did with David Lee Roth, man, mm-hmm. just fucking. But Pretty Woman, right, was the best. All right, I'll best. buy it. Um, I'll give my five. Ed will give his four, and then oh, I'll, and uh, I'll quick, real quick, uh, Bad Company, um, Five Finger Death five, Punch, f- Five Finger Death Punch, taking it off the big list. Okay, Sorry. well, that's, no, that's okay. All right, I did. I did like theirs because, and they, and they did another one too, wasn't it? It was uh, Five Finger Dead Punch. Did uh, they did bad? They covered company. a Coldplay song that was. And then good. they did no, no, somebody they, no, somebody brought this up to me yeah, earlier today. I yeah, can't they remember. did. Another, they did another one. one too, dude. Um, yeah, I'll find it. Go ahead. Do it. Go All ahead. right, here's my five honorable mentions. Um, originally by Wham, Seether, Careless Whisper. A very nice uh, rocking that was, mock-up. That was actually on my list, but I pulled it off. Well. That's all right. No, See right there. I got you. And then cool. the other one was uh, "Love Rain Over Me" by Pearl Jam. Nice. Didn't have it. Right, but uh, I just I hate Pearl Jam. Okay, me too. Um, Corn doing "Word Up" by Cameo. Uh, very great. That was mock-up. that was that good. Was fun. That was good. Um, our friends, two-time guest Shaman's Harvest doing "Dirty Diana." Love that song. I would love to have put them in the top ten, but the ten that were above them, uh, you know, Nathan. Yeah, sorry I lo- guys. I love you guys. Sorry. But- Sorry, uh, Johnny Cash doing Hurt. 
was on my li- on an the honorable, honorable mention. mention. For me. Yeah. And uh, for me, uh, American Woman Lenny Kravitz was an honorable mention, and that's where my official list ends. I'll I'll get I'll share with you after Eddie what didn't make the cut on my list of eight thousand songs. Good lord, that looks like a bathroom break. Yeah, pretty much. It's not that All long. Right. Um, first off, uh, I didn't include this in the list only because I think we talked about this song to death in our last music episode. But I put Natalie Cole Unforgettable. With nice. Her oh, that's nice. the other one that I did. You know, but House yeah. of the Rising Sun. You're right. Absolutely. That, yeah, they did actually. They did House of the Rising Sun better. Then they did Bad Company, if you want my honest opinion, dude. I'm going to go the other way. I, I really like the House. But I liked House of Rising Sun anyways. Mm-hmm. Like, the original song by the Animals was fucking fantastic. Yep. So, I mean, the fact that they redid that, I got I Okay. Got um, so, yeah. Natalie and I guess Cole, they did it Gone Away from had, Offspring. Um, say again? They did Gone Away from Offspring? Yes. Did they really? Yeah, it wasn't that good. Thank you. You're welcome. Fuck, because I love Offspring. Like, I actually had Offspring on the back of my car in the 90s. That's how much I love. Yeah, somebody see? should somebody see? somebody should have hit that car. I keep having to do this. It's called the offspring. Yeah, well, I couldn't afford the, so I lived in the project. He just got offspring. I did. Um. So yeah, Natalie Cole. I had um Nancy Sinatra. Bang bang. Nice. Now people know that's a cover, but she does it so much better than the original. Mm-hmm. No. Um. I had Johnny Cash. Her. I also had Johnny Cash. Uh. Personal Jesus. By nice. Special. Um. That whole album is pretty. Great. It's a yeah. That so, whole thing is amazing. Um, I had, and then he died. And he died. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just I'm just throwing it out there. I'm just this guy's been listening to typo negative. <laughs> I loved my uncle. <laughs> then he died. I had Jimi Hendrix all along the Watchtower, and um, why wouldn't I had, you? I had New Edition Tears on my pillow. Can nice. I can I actually so. play like d- like Dylan's all along the Watchtower? No. We'll get in trouble for that one. Share it on our page. Do me a favor and just go listen to it, please. You won't even recognize it. You can be like, wait a minute. Dylan came up with this first? All because right. that's exactly what I... Dude, Yeah, I love that song. I, it's, it's amazing. I love that song when I first heard it. And then when people told me it was a cover, I was like, fuck you. I'll wait till Ed gets back to read what didn't make the list. But going back to your point, again, you, you, when you hear a certain band did this first, uh, looking at my list, like with Kiss... With uh, da, 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 da. I thought that was their song, dude. God yeah. gave rock and roll. I, I really did. I, will, I thought that was their song. I thought I, I will I'm always love lie. you was a Whitney original. I I actually knew. I did not know. I knew the opposite of that because my grandmother loved Dolly Parton, so I Dolly didn't... Parton was always playing at her house. So I heard that, but then when I actually heard Whitney's, I was like, holy shit! Because like when you first heard that, she still holds that whole country flair. And and you Until, remember the movie, yeah, oh, right? Yeah. And and you brought up the movie, and it's really fucking cool. You brought that up because if you hear that, and it's towards the end of the movie, yep, he's already fucking gone, and all this other fucking shit, and then she starts singing this song, and it's like, it's eerie, yeah, it's so incredible, and then. She takes this country element and she throws it this way. And she R and B it. And then she to just the bo- booms. And you're like, oh my God. Um, the same for me with uh, You Really Got Me by Van Halen. Did not yes. know that it was a Kings tune. And then, you know, I heard that back in. And that's actually not a bad song. The original Kings. No, it's really is, good. It's really good. Right. Exactly. But I think Van Halen's is that much better. No, it is. I got to agree with you on that. It's more fun. Yeah. It's more fun. Like, it, it's, it's a fun song already. You right. know what I'm saying? But. Van Halen just adds that that extra element to it. Right. Like um, uh, when we get to the big list, um, I'm just looking over at St. Dimebag over on the wall. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a cover that there's a couple covers they do that. But only one made the big list that it made me care about. If you want to get me to care about the original artist, cover their song. Yeah. And make it cool. And we'll get to that in a minute. But like with Kiss, you want to make me care about Argent? Cover their tunes. Arjun has a lot of great songs, which I didn't know until God Gave Rock right. and Roll to You came out. I bought the Arjun CD. I'm listening. I'm like, oh, Hold Your Head Up is a really great song. This is a really great song. This is a really great song. It took Kiss to make me care about Arjun. It took, going back, um, Whitney Houston to make me care about Dolly Parton. It took Van Halen to make me care about the Kinks. There are just so many on this list that, that a lot of for a lot of us, um, it took... All along the Watchtower to make anybody care about, well, what is it, what did the original sound like? Doesn't mean we care about Dylan. You don't want to hear it. 
All right, quick hits. My list of 8,475 pared down. I'm just going to read them off. I'm going to get a yay or nay from you guys. Um, Metallica covering Bob Seger. Turn the page. Yay or nay? No. No? No. Um, I love the original. I really do. I, I love them both. There's something about it. Maybe maybe I just kind of feel like Metallica's trying too hard. Okay. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Fair enough. Ed, yay or nay? Never heard it. Okay, look it up. You got you got a lot of homework to do. Alien Ant Farm. Cov- Alien Ant Farm covers Michael Jackson's "Smooth Criminal." Love yeah, you're that. Classic. Love it. Okay. Love it. I won't say better than the original, but classic. Yeah. No. It's it's. And I saw them perform it live. And I was gonna say, look, it's it's not better, but it's not worse. It's like it it kind of spans on its own. That's what a cover should sound right. like. Right. When you first heard that shit, because I'll never forget. I, Y'all remember when you were when you first heard that shit? Because I do. I do. I was literally Probably driving across the fucking no, because Alan was with me. Oh. Uh, and I was driving across Groton Bridge, and that fucking song came out, and we heard that. And I was like, dude, is this Jackson? And Alan's like, no, it's faster. And I'm like, you're right. It is faster. And then we're listening to it, and I was like, dude, this guy sounds close to Jackson. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden they were like, this is a new cover from Alien Ant Farm. Right. And you were like, who um, the fuck is Alien I Ant Farm? Was, I was in Strawberries in Norwich buying my monthly cachet of CDs, and it played over the loudspeaker, and I went to Roger and Jackie, both of, who are still friends of mine to this day. I'm like, who the fuck is this, and where do I find the CD? And they took me right to it, and there was another twenty bucks I'll never get back. But yeah. that song, movies, it was really all right. Good. Yeah, the, the CD, kind the CD of was, sucked, but yeah. that song, that song was it. great. I, I, I like that song. I love the song, movies. Movies, yeah. yes. movies was good. Movies is good. Yeah. Yes, good fucking call. You know what though? Good you call. Even if you don't like the album, if you see them live, they put on a good live show. I saw them at Toad's place. Yeah. So like, you can't. I might have been at the same show. Come on, man! You can't do a bad fucking show at Toad's place. Oh uh, yeah, you can. Trust me. Yeah, you can. <laughs> um, before you came back in the room, I said, "If you want to make me care about your song, have one of my favorites do it." Pointing back to Saint Dimebag, Pantera doing Cat Scratch Fever. Um, not a big fan of Ted Nugent. Um, he's a hell of a guitar player, but his songs are just like, uh, I'm in the middle of talking and you want a gimmick? Yes. Yeah, I do. Yes, I'll do that. I'm going to challenge that. I think Cat Scratch Fever is an easy song to cover. But uh, you know what? Do me a favor. If, if you do nothing else and we go off, when we go off the air, I'll play you Cat Scratch Fever the way I hear it from Pantera on my phone. Gimmick oh, it's going to be it. one of these nights. It just, no, it's going to take 30 seconds. Just hear that opening riff. You understand that Saint Dimebag rules the world. No, here's the thing. I'm not. Fuck! Arguing... I just kicked like the Vikings. I'm not nice arguing. Job. I'm not arguing guitars because I think obviously Jimi Hendrix is better on guitars on Watchtower than Dylan. I'm. I'm. I'm talking the whole. I think thing. he's better on vocals. I get than it, Dylan. but <laughs> even Phil Anselmo, who is a barely passable vocalist, does better than Ted Nugent. I mean, I'll hear vocals. anything you guys put in front of me. I'll listen. To Fair it. enough. No. Um, Guns and Roses, "Live and Let Die." Yeah, no. Or nay. Oh wow, Absolutely that was no. quick. No. Um, uh, knocking on heaven's door. Yes, though. Didn't make my list because of the same reason you're probably thinking. I thought live and let die was better. I actually thought guns and roses made that song sound cheesy. Okay. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like, and, and if you watch the video when he's sitting there like, yeah, yeah and right. like running back and forth, I just didn't, but I did like, I didn't see the video till the two thousands. So you know, it's, you know, what's funny it sully it is for me. one of the first songs I ever sang for karaoke was that. Okay. It was uh, Guns N' Roses um, knocking on Heaven's Door, but they didn't actually have surprise, surprise Guns N' Roses version. They, they had only the had Beatles. No, they only That's had Mark Dylan's. Carney. Oh, Wings. McCartney. Dylan's. Wings. No, it's McCartney solo. It's a McCartney gimmick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's from the movie Live and Let Die. So, um, I had this biker guy oh, grab God. a microphone, and then when I would sing. Live and let die. He got yeah, 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 all right, yeah. All right, all right, all right. I get oh, it. it was... Um, Judas Priest, Diamonds and Rust. I've heard that. Yes. Okay. I'll buy it. Yeah, name. Okay. Motley Crue, Helter Skelter. I love that song. Same here. I love that song. Man. Mate, outside Dude, the top fifteen, but fifteen nuns could sing that song, <laughs> and I would still love that. Fucking Eddie, I'm song. waiting. You, your face is perched, man. What's going on? No, a couple of them I I can see. You know what's funny with Judas Priest? It's one of those 
one of those bands like I don't like Judas Priest, but sometimes I'll do a song and it just it it's not that I like it, but it has my attention. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send you personally when we get done a video of Judas Priest Live doing Diamonds and Rust. Better than Joan Baez, but not it's also better than the recorded version they did was really cheesy. Moving on. Uh Leanne Rhymes doing Patsy Klein's Blue. Yay or now. No? no? Uh, I hate Leanne Rhymes. What's Sing a, sing a line. Oh, so lonesome for you. Why can't you oh, be no, no, blue? No. Okay. Leanne Rhymes is so boring. Okay, no, she fair sucks, enough. Dude. And plastic now. Have you seen her face? Oh, yes. I don't give a fuck about now. She sucked back then when people thought she had talent. The only reason why she was good was because she had little fucking perky tits. Wow. And she had a little fucking little bubble face. That's the only reason why she was fucking talented. Now she's plastic. Here comes a time where earlier I gave him mad props. Black Label Society, Zach Wilde, Ain't No Sunshine When She's Gone. Love yeah, it. Watch Love the video. It. There was a rapper. Love there was a rapper that it. did a song, Ain't No Sunshine. I can't remember what it was. It was a great song. Though. It was too short. All right. Yeah, you're probably right. Uh, Disturbed, Land of Confusion. No. Oh, yeah. No? no. Oh, he's buying it. I like it. No. No. Uh Striper covering Black Sabbath, Heaven and Hell. Yes. I and I actually I like the redundancy in that, by the way. Don't you? Yes, I do. Uh Motorhead, Louie Louie. No. No? Okay. No. I've never no. heard it, but I'm intrigued. And I, and I You should be. And I I love it's Lemmy. So, it, it, I love Lemmy. I just My cat's name Lemmy. It shows you how Lemmy. much I love Le- You're about to get slapped six that's, ways a Sunday. That's time bag. Why uh, did you just you see what's over in the corner? Oh, okay, that, yeah. Lemmy. That annoying <laughs> fucking mic stand. I'm going to bring him back for one episode. No! It'll be a solo episode. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Garth Brooks, Hard Luck Woman. <laughs> Come on. Never yeah. heard of he it. He owned that shit. All right, I'll send that to you, too. <laughs> no, don't God, send me Garth Brooks. Godsmack, Rocky Mountain Way. I'll go with that. Yeah, okay. sure. I'll go with that. Never heard it. I'll send you that too. Foo Fighters doing Baker Street. Yes. Oh my god. Fuck yeah. So, fuck so, yeah. So I'll say yes. Yeah. I haven't heard that, but I like Foo fuck Fighters yeah. overall. So no, right. fuck yeah. Anthrax yes. covering Public Enemies. Bring the noise. Oh yeah. Come on, oh no. yeah. That's that's no brainer. But is that really a cover? Because Public Enemies on it. But yeah, I was gonna say like that's kind of like a Dewey, right? Yeah. Because they kind of like all right. Chuck does two verses. They finger, yeah. yeah does, they finger fucked each other, right? Scotty does yeah. the last two. Yeah. Kinda. All right. Yeah. I'll buy it. Um, a little known band that you may not have ever heard of. You guys saw the Lost Boys. Oh yeah. Do you remember yeah. the song "Cry Little Sister"? Oh, absolutely. Seasons after, a band that I saw live about eight years ago did a cover of that, and I think it's fantastic. Whatever. But it didn't I'll, make my list. I'll buy it. I Is like that the that muscular song. guy with the saxophone? No. And I, like I knew somebody would bring that up. You uh, ever see the Straight to Video sequel? <laughs> Yes. They show some fat ass with a saxophone. Uh, Brian Adams doing Young Lust. I, You know what? I haven't heard it, but I lo- Brian Adams can't do a bad song. Okay. That's I, not true. No, can I? No, bo- give me a bad song Brian Adams did. Uh, oh, What? That fucking. Uh, Which one? I hate that. No, no, no. All right. Daps across the table. Yeah, but come on. He had nothing to do with that. Yes, he did. What? No, he didn't. He owned that shit. No, there was fucking three other guys with him. Bullshit. I call bullshit. No. Yes. (laughs) No. Do you really love a. We really love a woman. That was him solo? No, it wasn't just him. No, it was. I thought he had. No. He had um Oh there were, no he's right yeah. he's right yeah. there was another vocalist Yeah there was uh fucking what's his face The other dipshit Uh Rod Stewart's in that fucking shit Hold on Ed's on the Google machine right now we are going to yeah. wait for Ed Oh it's not just it's not just fucking Brian Adams it's a three guys Do you it's ever three really, of them. really have a level It's he's three right. of them. he's right it was a it was oh fuck. I am no I'm not Brian Adams is not getting fucking sold out for this Brian I got you dude you're Canadian but I got you, dude. All I know is we young, are not young. young lust is badass. No. And I'm rubbing my chair against the table. It just says Brian Adams. Oh, uh, we'll look it up further. No, I know. Um, it, I know what song you're thinking of. You're thinking of that song from fucking Three Musketeers with Sting, Rod Stewart, and Brian Adams. Isn't that the oh, same? Fu- oh no, no, no he's that right. song is shit too. He's right. No, he's right. It, oh, <laughs> it <went from> <laughs> All right, last two. 
that didn't make the list. That's it. That's Mar- it. Marvin, right. hey, here, take your L. Yeah. Take no, your L. I'll take right. that. I will take that. Last that two, is last two on the list. I'll tell you so what, it's though. two garbage songs. I'll today. tell you why he had nothing. He was really drunk, and somebody was like, "Brian, can you please sing this for me? Because my sister's dying of cancer, and my father oh my fucked God. me in the Fuck ass. That. Fuck no. that. He got Disney money. <laughs> Disney money said, "Hey, bro, we'll pay you right? shitload of money to sell your soul." And he said. Well, it's over. Oh, that one. Forever. Yeah, that one. Yeah, no, that one. Yeah, I was talking about the dude. First of all, really that one, Demarco. Uh, bad <laughs> movie, bad song. I had almost erased fat that from my head until fucking today. Fucking Marlon Brando having sex with fat fucking Faye uh, Dunaway. All right, Gross. two more songs. Uh, Heard it through the grapevine by Marvin Gaye. <laughs> yeah or nay? Yeah. Um, love that song. Yeah. All right. I love and, that song. Um, if it's never... probably the one I heard too. So Eddie, you might just want to take this home with you and look up all these songs. <sighs> uh, Kiss does a Ramones cover. Do you remember Rock and Roll Radio? They covered the Ramones. Yes, they I almo- did. I almost had a Ramones song. Ronnie Spector and uh, Joey Ramone covered a song. I yes. almost put that on there, but I, I didn't even get an honorable mention. I do have another one last honorable mention now. That I Go think ahead, because I think it's better than the original, and you're gonna fucking laugh. Alvin and the Chipmunks doing Hanging Tough. I'm done. Hanging tough, dude. I'm sorry. Hanging they do tough. the song better than New Kids. For do. the next for the next sixty seconds, these guys have to take over. Normally, this would be the place where they we put the top ten, but since Europe, the record label, and seventy five countries War- say otherwise, Warner Brothers or some shit. I'm kneeling down in protest. So, while Jabroni Kaepernick protests, um. So we 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 usually do a uh, a thing at this point where it's like like we we count down from like ten to one yeah and then we used to like play this like song really beforehand. cool song and yeah. video and but it was like and everybody had fun and yeah and then everybody got like kind made of Europe salty. relevant again yeah but they're not right. relevant no more they're doing Geico fucking commercials yeah and... so they're more we actually gave them the credit they they're, deserved they're better than 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 but we no, are now no but... no. But they couldn't handle twenty. We're seconds. gonna go to Fiverr. Yeah. So fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, Fiverr. I mean, fuck. No, you. Not not fuck you, Fiverr. I gotta now. I gotta get off my knee. Son I mean, of a bitch. How do you, how do you screw this up, Ed? Uh, four, fuck you, Europe. Four, four beers. <laughs> um, lightweight. Fuck you, Fiverr. No, so you know, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get some original, new original music, some. Uh, Kick-ass graphics. And we we're, we're gonna I have actually a, got a couple. Greatest, now, we're going to have the GOAT 10. Before I buy one and, and it becomes mine, do I just send it to you? What's that? What if we take... Yeah. Here's an idea. Because yeah. I'm thinking of something in my head. I got, I got two guys that are kind of like, write me one. I said, I want a rock anthem for our top 10 list for our yeah. podcast. Mm, whatever and you I get. have two guys that are like... And each one of them only want well, five bucks for I, it. I mean... Like, no, wait, it's fucking really cool. Fiverr's awesome. No, it really... Dude, it really is. Like, you literally put what you want. Dude, I tell and you. all of a sudden, you start getting, like, these messages. And people yeah. are like, here, check this out. And I'm like, I like that. Dude. And then somebody else sends you messages like, oh, I kind of like that I, better. I was thinking of signing up for Fiverr to do logos for people. No, nah, it's... Five dude, uh, our, 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 our top 10 list will be a Fiverr. I in promise fact, you that. If people go to www.lokinjabroni.com forward you join slash Fiverr. Fiverr, you know, you can F I V V E R. Exactly. You can go on there and you can take advantage. And in fact, uh, but you will not get a top 10 list out of me this week because fuck Europe, fuck Warner I, Brothers, fuck Epic, fuck Gaspar Gomez. I think and he was fuck just the lazy. Fucking, no, no. I had one written. <laughs> And the more I thought about it, as I'm coming into today, and we're gonna talk about all no, these it is, great it songs. No, it is kind of funny like, that you no, say that, eat man. Shit, I'm gonna Kaepernick the fuck out of this because it was like when I did it. No, when you did it, we only we were banned from Germany and Australia. Yeah, right. You did it. It was Germany. No, no, it was Canada. you because I did it oh, last Germany week. And That's right. Germany I and did France. it last Germany week. Right. Oh, so if anybody wants to question our scope here. We got banned only last week when Mike, two weeks ago when Mike did it in Germany and France. I do it, we're banned in 75 fucking countries. No, 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 no. You want to question our scope? We're not big enough for you, cunt and Thompson? Eat shit, flat earth fuck. Anyway. <laughs> You're going to come on this show whether you like it or not if I have to come to your house and drag you out by your three fucking haired beard, you little prick. The Loki and Jabroni show does not endorse violence. Oh, yes, we do. For this motherfucker, we do. But and if you are a three-haired beard man, <laughs> Jabroni, you actually... stop threatening the anti-Semites. Oh, uh, well, um, yeah. Heaven forbid somebody hates the Jews like Nathan does. 
Does anybody else help the, hate the NFL this year? I'm not happy with my team, but I'm digging the NFL. I'm not. <laughs> I think digging... we finally won a game. Hold um, on. Yes, Hold on. you did, did. Did you guys actually watch fucking Monday Night Football last night? No. I know. No. Did, I did you not. actually see Von Miller sack fucking McComb? Would he touch him and he fell down? No, no. Or... He literally grabbed him and then came, rolled like he pushed him on the ground and kept running. Dude, I felt violated. I felt. Hashtag you too. Felt violated. I did. McComb got up, did one of these things to McComb to uh, fucking Von Miller nope. and said, "Thank you, bro. Nope. I appreciate yeah, fuck it." Fuck this. Hit the button. No. Oh, go ahead. You got it. Bring on the XFL. I yes, agree. sir. I agree. I am gonna drop being a Minnesota Vikings fan, and I'm gonna pick up. And an an XFL team. You know what? XFL is going to bring football back to what it's supposed it is. to be. I agree. I, hello. Can we say fuck the whole Trump conspiracy? How about the NFL conspiracy? How about the NFL conspiracy? I think that's what's going on. There was no, a no. Hit. There was I a think, hit. I think Vince big. McMahon is on to something. There I think was, he's there was bringing a us hit. back. There was a hit in the Bears game. Uh, it was uh, Bears versus Buccaneers, which it delighted me to no end. There was a tingle at the end of my dingle. Watching that game and watching the Bears just beat the shit what, out of what Tampa did I tell, Bay. What did I tell everybody about the fucking Bears this year? That they're going to be hot. Well, as soon as I found out that they picked up Khalil, Khalil Mack, Mack, what did I say? Which, by the way, Mark Mark Azarju, I'm blowing you up, calls him the Black Erlacher. He is. He is. That's exactly what I said he was. He was exactly what the Bears needed. There and was... the Raiders wanted nothing to do yep. with this guy. There it's was... funny as fuck because... Um, John uh, Gruger turned Gruden. around. Yeah, yep. Gruden turned around and said, "It's so hard to find a decent linebacker." You had him in the NFL. You had the best one, you stupid son of a now, bitch. There was a hit, and I, it wasn't Khalil Mack, but it was somebody else who came in and did one of those Goldberg-style spears to uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Just sacked him, knocked him almost silly because Jameis Winston came in a few plays later. Yeah, and. No flag. And I'm thinking to myself, Clay Matthews just threw that same hit a week ago, and every flag from every state, from every country was thrown on that field. It looked like a sea of yellow. Why is Clay Matthews being hunted right now? Uh, because it's called the, um, what is it, the Aaron Rodgers flag oh, for a reason. So okay. there you go. All right. Well, if you want to talk about some sports that have no bias whatsoever except my bias for Kyle fucking Bush, tomorrow night, 8.30 p.m. on the YouTube channel is the CNJ Speedway Review. This fine gentleman brought it up earlier. He was smart enough to watch the Roval. The dipshit that produces it didn't watch right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. And that's fine. It was you know actually what? pretty impressive. I was. You know what scared me is if you watch the videos from practice earlier in the week, that Dude, first, you can't that practice first for turn, that. That first turn, so many cars hmm. got wrecked, and so many guys went to a backup car because that first turn killed everybody. What killed me was did you go in from like a hundred and what one hundred and eighty to about sixty five? Yeah, exa exactly. That w that one sweeping turn where you go from about one twenty to seventy five, where they had the little triangles that had bojangles here and yeah, echo. That's not that's not too bad. You can drift. Did you did you not see the one guy pick up the bojangles thing and drive his car with the bojangles? <laughs> and the guy, the guy, uh, one of the commentators, I want to say it was Rick Allen, made the comment from uh, Talladega Nights. You know. It's very dangerous to have this here, but boy, do I love that chicken. And, oh, my God, it was so perfect. funny. Perfect. Yes, it was perfect. I'd like to respond to the audience a little bit. Oh, we got some oh, audience? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve uh, Waddick. Steven, the doctor of the doc. Did, that, you, that's... Gu did you guys mention no. Beatles cover the top notes, twist, and shout? No. It's not a bad cover. Not the greatest. I though. was going to say, yeah, it's... um. Not the greatest. You, 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 why don't we just throw the fat boys up with that? Yeah, it, it's Paul McCartney screaming. Come on, yeah. baby. Honestly, uh, let's do the twist. I wouldn't. Chubby honestly, it the wouldn't fat be, boys. 
Let's do the twist. It would, it would ne- Same it, idea. It would never be in my top ten. Not a bad Fair. cover. All right, next. Um, careless. Take me by my little we hand. We talked about Careless Whispers either. I did. Uh, yeah, we did. Uh, yeah, yeah, and that was one of my... Um, my honorable um, mentions. Um, Steven uh, Waddick says Africa Weezer. I, t- I mentioned that. Did you mention that one? Yes, okay. I did. Uh, Katy Perry, Your Love from the Outfield. Next. I haven't heard that one. No. Is that... A, after, no. After, no. Um, what was that one? Uh, part of me after that album, I tuned out because she cut her hair and started being all weird. Yeah, well, she's got big boobs, but she's not sexy anymore. Next. Yeah. No, that's that's it. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you both. Thank you, the same person. Thank you, whoever. I don't care. Don't forget, for $1,000, we will drain that bottle of wild turkey and film it, and we will record till we're sober. And yeah. also, guys, don't forget, tonight, it's already going on uh, the first uh, wild card. <laughs> we don't give a fuck about that shit. But Shouldn't tomorrow even happen. Shouldn't night, even fucking happen. Oakland Athletics going to be facing off against the New York Bombers. That's right. The Yankees going to be facing off against them one game only. Um, you will never hear me say this ever. I'm waiting for that. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> Let's go Yankees. You guys deserve it. No, you do. You do. I, I absolutely, I let these guys have it. Now you got my 30 seconds. I absolutely hate this fucking one game rule. You need at least three games. I don't care. Make it happen. It's only a difference of two days within a fucking schedule. Make this shit happen. A team that gets a hundred fucking a hundred wins should not have an off day where they're gonna lose to a piece of shit eighty five win team. I I've said my voice. Um, with that being said, fuck you, A's. Uh, Yankees gonna win tomorrow. Um, and we'll be seeing you guys Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Looking forward to it. Um, any team can win on any given day. You know this. You've seen this. You understand this. The one game playoff is a joke. It, it's 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 ridiculous. It's give him a slap three. In the give him a three game playoff. Three game at I'll least. At least. No, I I which like the three give, game. Which would give your three uh, east, your central, and right. west a give nice them a little, little break. Rest. A yes. little break. You're more than time. They they're all worried about their time pressured sense. Getting everything in there. No, no. This is this is wrong. And y'all know this. And I'm Rob gonna, and, and, Fred and, eat and shit. I'm going to tell you guys this right now. And I'm a fucking Red Sox fan. If the Yankees lose tomorrow, the it's playoffs a fucking a crying shame. It's a fucking crying shame, and it's fixed. I'm sorry, guys. I'm they, sorry. If they lose, and they lose everything, the playoffs are pointless. It's, it much. is. It's stupid. It's stupid. It you, really you, is. You wasted the players' what, time. What did you even you throw another time. team in there for? There's no reason the for it. The first ever wild card went to the Yankees, and they were only two games behind the division leader, which were, by the way, in 94. Six? Go ahead, tell me. The Red 96, Sox. Six, yeah, exactly. They're only two games behind. Now you're talking about separating by 15 games, and they have a chance to come in. It's the participation trophy of the Major League Baseball. Yeah, that's... Rob Manfred. Yeah, but it was can get it was also dicks. different back in '96. I mean, this is this is a whole new fucking. It sounds stupid then. It sounds stupid now. I Honestly, bought the wild like, card then, not because it was a Yankee fan, because at the beginning of the season, nobody knew how it was going to turn out. Right. So at the beginning of the season, you're like, okay, instead of having East and the West, which it was, you have the East, the Central, and the West, and you have one team, best record of the rest, come in. Makes sense. Four teams, two here, two here. You move forward. The bracket system, much like NASCAR. People hate the NASCAR playoffs. Fuck you. This is so exciting. Yeah. And we'll cover it tomorrow night, Wednesday at 8.30. But going back to baseball, to have those four teams, Red Sox went in as a wild card one year, won the freaking World Series. They're first in 86 years. Yep. The wild card was exciting. Now you throw that fifth team in there, all that does is it. create – I hate it. I hate it. It creates turmoil. It creates – Because if the Oakland A's – Somehow beat the Yankees tomorrow night, and I and I have, and a then really, go on to win the World Series. I'm I, done. Can I just Baseball say this? can kiss not, a not, bag not of dicks. Not trying to fucking, not trying to fucking jinx anything, but I have a really bad feeling about tomorrow, and I really, really, really think that this is going to be the end all. Be I got a special, I got a special promise for all of you, and one of you guys will film it before we go hot next week. In the event that the Yankees lose that one game, 
which we've never been in this position before. But I, if, I still if, don't if think we, you should be in this. A hundred plus you. fucking wins. If we, I think this is ridiculous. If you have a hundred plus fucking wins, you should just. There should be no question. I no, will, if you get a hundred plus fucking wins, there should be no fifth team. There I, should be me versus you right now. I will. There should seal. be no A's. There should be no Oakland team. Nothing. No, you it should what? be four. Right the fuck now. Let me take this out. I don't know if Ed, if you can. If they can see this on the screen, can you see that tattoo on my left arm? Oh, yeah. It's a Yankee symbol on a uh, skull. Looks like a baseball. I love my Yankees. Always have, always will. Sorry about all the uh, sound and whatnot. I will put away my Yankees gear until they do away with this bullshit. I will, I will swear off baseball. I don't care who fucking wins. What's going to happen tomorrow night if the A's win is bullshit. A one-game playoff? Anybody can win one game, beat us in three games, beat us in five games, or much like every other series that has ever been, five or seven games. No, I don't. I don't one think, game doesn't mean shit. I don't think the wild card deserves to be seven games. I think if you're a wild card, three, two out I, of three. I, I agree. I agree. Three games. It's not much to add two more days to this. No, it really isn't. And it gives. The Houston's, the Boston's, and who won the West? It gives your champions a chance to rest. Exactly. All of a sudden now. They deserve it. Right, exactly. And I, I, again, as a Yankee fan saying this to the Red Sox, they deserve it. They had the the season of a lifetime. At the beginning of the season, both of us said the Yankees are going to come in and blow oh, everybody I, away. I definitely did The Red Sox came up. They came up. And now mm -hmm. they deserve that little rest. But now they don't get a rest. They play tomorrow which is Wednesday, and yep. then they're back at it on Friday? On Friday. No, in give them a little in rest. In Beantown, yeah. It's fucking, it's ridiculous, Give man. them a little rest. No, I, I think this the is... The one-game playoff is horseshit. You're trying, you're trying to push this shit too much. They call it the boys, uh, the boys of October, or the, yeah, whatever it is. Uh, yep. No, dude, add some fucking November days. All right? I'm sorry. Sure. Like, it's like, it's stop, not the first time. Stop. No, it's stopped. All right? You know, it, it, like, it goes back to that story we read way, way, way in the beginning of the show about the soccer kid. Derek Jeter's book had the best quote ever. He said, I wanted to be the best in my town. And when I was the best in my town, I wanted to be the best in the county. And when I became the best in my county, it wasn't enough. I wanted to be the best in the state. Then I want to be the best in the region. You don't stop trying to be right. best. Right. And that's the love of the game. Unfortunately, it is. That's Derek Jeter. That's Dustin Pedroia. That's Cal Ripken. That's Don Manning. Larry that's Carl Bird. Fisk. It's Larry Bird. It's Magic Michael Johnson. Jordan. Exactly. Nowadays, all you have to be is the best on that given day. Horseshit. To get, to get some, to get some glorification. You're gonna tell me some no-name A's player is better than Judge or Stanton or no. Saravino? No. Fuck. Fuck this playoff system. Well, All right, guys. I'm actually I'm I'm like <clears throat> lost. I'm I'm used to like having a whole top ten list, and like we're laughing and we're like giving each other high fives, and we're doing a whole bump thing. Oh, and, here's Kaepernick, and he yeah. and Kaepernick's over here bowing, bowing and shit. But uh, so I guess I mean, I'll, I'll we, take the opportunity to uh, sell ourselves. And if you I mean, have a top ten list next week, I'm kneeling during that and, too. And Jabroni like doesn't have a Nike deal either. No, because I'll have a Fiverr song next week. Okay. I'm already working. I, I on see that. a bunch of Nike uh, memes coming out with Jabroni. <laughs> if somebody wants to sacrifice take... everything, even if it means there's no top ten. Guys, I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll sit over there and do the thing. You, you are take not the picture, a he'll make Patron the meme. donor. Please do that today. If you are not a subscriber, we have one right now. We have a secret on video. Patreon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. I got you. Oh. Anyways, um, the Loki and for the show, rest of you guys, pornographic material. For, no, that was not. See, you see how he <laughs> twisted that? I this love guy, it. This guy, this guy over here, the one who is in trouble all the fucking time. I love it. Um, if you guys would like to donate, like we talked to earlier, we have a bottle up there, Wild Turkey. You want to grab that bottle? You want to show them are, one, one already, more time? I already grabbed yeah, it earlier. Then maybe right, someone right. that joined us late. All right. If you're, see, and this is where I come in. If you're not watching Tuesday nights on the YouTube channel, this is why yeah. you need to watch. Because we're showing you things that you're not seeing on iTunes, on Spotify, iHeartRadio, so, etc. We will not be drinking anything 
but this. Mm-hmm. No water, no beer, no nothing. No chasers at all. No chasers. Not even our own urine, even though no. it's sterile and I we're like the taste. We're drinking this whole bottle to our face, and we're recording it as we're doing it. Um, and we're gonna try not to throw each other out. Of the house. Dude, it's a th- except look, Ed. It's a it's a thousand bucks. All right, so the all least the least we can do is offer the people real entertainment. All yes. Right? So that's why I said no water. Have you ever seen me no and Mike chasers, on whiskey? No. This this shit right here, dude. This is not going to be cool. The hell was that? This is not going to be cool. I'm just going to tell you that right now. A bunch of us right now drinking this. It's not going to be cool. It's, it's worth a thousand dollars. It's not it, gonna it, be pretty. No, you're right. You're right. It's you might as well record it and put it on YouTube for your own personal gain because you're probably going to gain like at least fucking a million views. We are going to record this, and then if you actually beat us to fucking putting it out there, you're going to get more views than we will because this is going to be crazy. This is going to be crazy. I'm telling you. I, I'm um, gonna I'm gonna put it on the Patreon today. Rock and roll. All right, guys. Please do us all that very favor and make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Make sure you hit that little bell over On there YouTube. in that corner and then you can get all the notifications so you don't miss what's going on right now. We want to thank each and every one of you that have done that already because we had viewers right off the bat. Thank you very much for tuning into that one. Um as far as our affiliate links, we still have plenty of going on. I mean, you guys shop on Amazon every day. There is no reason why if you buy something on Amazon that you can't just go up into your little corner there, make sure you have it on your little bookmark. No. Bam. Oh. What, I, Ed? I what? What? Mark. What? Do not bookmark Amazon links. I can't bookmark. I can't bookmark. Just go to the website. It's everywhere. So go to the website. So how about can you bookmark the website? There we go. There you go. So since that's difficult, all you need to do is bookmark our website. And then you can go to your smartphone, hit the bookmark, hit the website, bam, go to our website and then hit one of our many awesome affiliate links. Go to the support menu. It shows every single way. You can support this. Um, for those of you that don't know the support menu, if you see the little dash lines over there, boop, hit that dash line. You'll have a nice little menu that pops up, and there is a whole list that shows up right I w- there. I want to share this that uh, as we close mm. out because we talked a little football. Football. <laughs> Earlier this week, I put out a post on many of my Falcon sites about how much the Falcons suck. If we had a defense, we'd be four and zero. We, something... You know what's funny is the Vikings have a defense, and right? Where uh, um, this came from, my I old... thought the Patriots did. This yeah. came from my old high school friend. The only Mary... thing I'm excited about is now that the the Vikings Patriots fucking tickets are gonna be wicked cheap now. Mm-hmm. So those stupid motherfuckers that paid for those tickets early, right? AKA you got fucked. My ex wife and her new boyfriend. Sorry, <laughs> eat shit and live. Um, this comes from my friend Mary Bachner, uh... who lives in Atlanta. She says. Chris, this is from my friend that lives in Atlanta, has been a Falcons fan all her life. Quote, the Falcons will still make it to the Super Bowl in January in Atlanta. Okay. They'll be the ones in the orange vest showing you to your seat. Please be respectful of them and understand if they're not super friendly that day. Well, see, the Vikings went through the same thing. The only difference was we actually went to the NFC Championship. Right. We're not even going to go to the fucking playoffs at this point. Oh, the Patriots are going to be there selling their leftover shirts. That's fine. So If they're not sending them to third world countries for kids know. to I, wear. I'm starting to think I might be right. I think we're about to see a changing of the guard. Think so? Yeah. I think so. We the, the the Eagles winning last year was a big thing. You know what? Let's talk, let's talk a little football next week. I know yeah. we have our presidential halftime report. He's about halfway through his term um, right now. Probably. We should probably do it closer to the midterms. Okay. So we'll come up with something next week for you. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. Uh, big guests coming up, hopefully, as long as I can keep getting this guy on the phone and talking to him uh, <clears throat> big time. It's going to be good. We're going to try to do more on-location stuff, too. Yes, yeah. especially November 24th when the Michigan Wolverines and the Ohio State Buckeyes do battle in the now, game. You know what? <clears throat> y'all, you know, fuck y'all. You don't deserve that. Who don't, they don't deserve that? No, 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 because we've been doing this. No, we've been doing this for four years now. Yep. 
almost four years and never once have I ever went onto the Loki and Jabroni site and seen anything besides like maybe two people post things. Well, now that so we, no, now that no, we no, have, no. We have no. some Ohio you know State what? fans now. You know what? No, no, no. <laughs> Fuck that. I would like to see the the, the forums are open, folks. The what? The forums are open. On the I website. can't hear you over this gimmick. Oh, sorry. Hit the button. Okay, go ahead. Spam. Fuck. Hello. See, that's great. Right? That's you want to say with your piece without <laughs> fucking baiting me? Seriously. I, I don't sign say- these checks for nothing. <laughs> I was going to say, the, folks, the blog is open and you can contribute. All right. Go on the website. Fair enough. You want to lead them out? Because I'm done. Yeah, I know. I got it. It's very simple. Uh, guys, we love you guys very much. That was awesome, by the way. <laughs> No, it wasn't. <laughs> fuck him and fuck you. And thank you, fuck you, bye. And fuck the Gomez brothers or whoever. I don't give a fuck. Guys, join our website. Join those affiliate links. Buy shit from there. There's give us money stuff. for free. If you just want to give us money, Patreon all day long. If you can get... Now, we, we made it really easy for you guys, all right? So, if you have 10, guy, 10 guys giving away 100 bucks. That's a thousand bucks right yep. there, right? Or four people, two hundred and fifty dollars. Very easy. We drink that entire bottle of wild turkey. That's it. We have nothing. We have no water. We have no coke. We have nothing. We have to drink that. I'll whole... up the ante. Go oh, ahead. Jesus, that that's not big enough. No, I'll up the ante. All right. So not only will we drink this vile yeah. whiskey, vile. It's disgusting. All right. It's Toxic. Disgusting. Dangerous. Yeah. For. Three people such as us to drink such whiskey. We're probably gonna be naked. I don't know about that. No, you get to probably. throw out. You get to throw out three triggering topics for Ooh. three guys. Three guys drinking triggering whiskey. Ooh, because that's trigger whiskey. You know what it is, right? It is. It is. So is not true. not whiskey. only will we drink the whiskey. Oh my god! Drink the whiskey on camera. Oh my god! You throw out three triggering topics that you know are gonna piss us off, dude. Dude, if if I'll tell you, and it's even better if you listen fuck, to the show. I long wish enough, I was listening to the show. I would get four people to just come up with two hundred and fifty bucks just to fuck with us. If you Hell listen yes. to the show long enough, you know things that the three of us disagree on. Mm-hmm. You can find three triggering topics. Eddie, why are the cops awesome? Exactly. You see, his vein is about to pop. Mike, fuck the police coming straight from the. No, <laughs> Mike, why do the Vikings all have small penises? <laughs> Chris, why can't you just accept that a man wants to pee in the women's room? Fuck that shit. <laughs> See how easy that was, man? Don't forget <laughs> CNJ Speed Review tomorrow night, YouTube channel 830. It's going to be fun. And Corey's leading the pack, man. I already gave him the uh, marching orders. He is leading the show. For the first time ever. No, he's done it a couple times, and he's 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 learning. He's learning how to lead the show. We're building him into a master podcaster. What's going to suck is is the last guy we taught how to be a master podcaster ran away and became, well, vacuum what? chamber fucking cocksucker Jones. Yeah. All right, well, unfortunately, he also Corey's became... never leaving. Well, <laughs> Cor- Cor- get signed to serious. Corey became a master baiter long before he became a master podcaster. Oh, of course. Okay. That's how he scored that beautiful woman he has. Easily. She loves stats. She does. She loves those stats, man. And... Hey Chelsea, while we're at the while we're at it, I kind of like you. You're my friend. That's all I'm saying. I'm not gonna go full Corey on your ass. Well, I, I guess he wants you to add him on Facebook. Too late. Already done. Yeah, she's on her Facebook. Oh, okay. She actually <laughs> during the race. I don't know if she was not watching the race or whatever. It was on PRN, which is not a very good racing network, versus MRN, the voice of NASCAR, and she. You know what? You can kiss a bag of dicks because you didn't watch the left turn, right turn, which you say you want to see eat shit and die. No, I never said I didn't want to see it. I said it doesn't exist. It's flat earth. Whatever. I Fuck watched you. it. It happened. It did. It, it happened, and I drank like six beers and had like a couple shots during it, too. And you watched Jimmy Johnson take it up the ass in the last lap. Boom. Sauce. Hey. She Whatever. texted me, she goes, PRN sucks at radio. I'm like, uh, duh, have you not listened to my show for the last year? Portugal Viking, go ahead and like me on Twitter. 
at cburns19. You guys have yourself a great fucking night. We're rambling now. <laughs> Love y'all. Have a good one. I good agree night. with him. <laughs>